Nah, in the in the nah, when they had conks, there was no lineup. What's a conk? Just it's just firm. there. It's just firm. like lie and potatoes. Mm. Potatoes. So potatoes. Firm, firm, <laughs> stick back with your hands. <laughs> yeah, I just I remember that in Malcolm X. Movie. <laughs> was it relax? Right. It was relaxing. Yeah. A relaxer. Okay. Yeah. I was like, Word. well, Malcolm X was rocking in yeah. the, early in the movie. All of them. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So that was the thing. Yeah, they was permanent hair, but they was doing it with chemicals that like burn. You know, now they can. Who made you pop? Still uh, your hair. Who now, made, but, oh yeah. Who made hairlines pop? Who was the first one then? I don't, I don't know. know. Who's the OG hairline king? First nice. one, I, first one I remember it was fabulous. Nas mm-hmm. had a good hairline. Nas, 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 Nas had a good hair. It was him and Raekwon. The Caesars. Mm-hmm. The yeah, Caesar, the, low, the low joint. The even Caesar, even the all Caesar, around. The Caesar cut, I yeah. think, brought out the hairline. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They started getting tricky with their sideburns to a point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ice picks. Yeah. Yeah. The, the genuine. Three lines, one line, yeah. Three lines, one line. <laughs> I had three lines. <laughs> You had three lines? I had three yeah. lines on the side. You didn't like, even fade that out. You kept that of one all the way around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first fade. Yeah. Just flick it. Just yeah. flick it at the end. Yeah. Y'all can cut y'all hair? Keanu, Keon can. Yeah. I, I can. my hair. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I can. I can, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I do, I do it quite well. <laughs> yeah. Cut shit out of my hair. Cut my hair. I braid it. Oh, um, <laughs> what outfit did you put him in this morning? Was it like his go-to outfit, or did you go get? How old is he, Jay? Twelve. Oh, okay. Well, he had his own. Shit. Yeah, he was, yeah, he had his own little shit to yeah. set up. But he was he was panicking last month. I ain't got my shirts that I want. So it was one of picture those. day. So was, I missed it. So it was picture day today. It was picture day for my son. That's what oh, made me okay. eight minutes late. I had to I had to line him up. I was like, oh, you, got you. you going to school late, bro? You got to sit down in this chair. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't go out here crusty, bro. Yeah. For telling me late. No, nah, yeah, yeah. For telling me late. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just homeroom you missed, but that's fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They had picture day early this. Yeah, huh? I know. That's what I said. Yeah. That's why I threw me for a loop. They always do it early, though, right? Nah, they gotta nah, catch nah, up this I didn't go early. This is super early. Oh, I my kids didn't go early. Either. You go late. That's the year, damn near. I thought it would just be. It'd be just later on in the year. Yeah. Oh. Then you get the makeup. I think now oh, it's yeah. for the ID, so it just they use that, that picture and just yeah, they be needing stuff. There. Yeah. 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 I mean, it makes sense to do it early. Right. I remember still having fresh in the eyes, yeah. too. Your yeah. eyes are still fresh. Right. Yeah. You care. Yeah, you didn't get strung out <laughs> on the year. <laughs> right. Around 12 is when I got to pick my own outfit. Before that, moms used to try to put me in suits unless she didn't know. I showed you the picture when she didn't know. Did you wore suits to school? Just for picture day. She oh, put gotcha. me in a, I had a little yeah. velvet suit. I had a couple um, picture different day? I know yeah. they was tearing your ass up. Uh, it didn't matter. I was still playing handball in the <laughs> suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no slices. <laughs> yeah. I didn't go suit, but I do remember having some, da- some dapper ass outfits, like especially yeah. younger ages, like seven. Yeah. Oh, oh man, I'm, I'm, I got a powder blue suit with a bow tie <laughs> when I'm about seven years old, bro. Hard bottoms on. <laughs> oh man, I might have had some hard bottles. Never on. made the cut in the picture. Yeah, I hated the way my mom dressed us. Oh man, when she I stopped dressing it. y'all, when we were just fuck, we was like enough. I'm early. <laughs> my mom still dressed me. <laughs> <laughs> she was like put on that one shirt and then the jacket over the top. <laughs> she nah, makes suggestions for real. Nah, nah. Uh-huh. One year she had us. She had me in a red collared shirt, yellow suspenders, yellow shorts, red socks. Oh man. And so and I was like, they. I got roasted at school. That that was the day. It was first grade. I got oh. I was like, Mom, we're done. <laughs> Never again. You had the Ronald yeah. McDonald outfit on. Yeah. 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 She, said, yeah. so she said, you look cute. I said, mm. we're done. Yeah. Yeah. We're <laughs> done. That's the only time I wish I had a dad in the house. So he'd be like, nah, boy, you ain't got to wear that. Yeah. Mom would just be like, like what the hell mm. is this? <laughs> Hey, you, you do got to have a second you look like fry. Fry. on your right. picked out outfit. You definitely got to have that. McDonald's Even if it's McDonald's an older curtain. brother. Yeah. Sometimes an older brother can step in and be like, Ma, he's going to get roasted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you need that. Old, but when you're the oldest getting sent out like that, and everybody done. else is following yeah. suit. Yeah. <laughs> done. If you don't make a stand. I'm, yeah, I, yeah. I, mean, I was like, we He done. liked it when he yeah. wore it. Right. <laughs> you look handsome. She's like, I used to always get compliments on how you got from other old ladies. Yeah. <laughs> right. None of the kids at school. Not the I'm kids. Fight for my life. Fear is going to keep it real. Oh, yeah. yeah. Soon what as you walk is, in the class. What the hell is this? Yeah. Why are you face so 
your shine. <laughs> and Urkel was popular back then. Oh, man. I got lit up. You best believe he wasn't sharpening that pencil that day. Man. Nah, you never got up with something skeptical on. <laughs> no, uh-uh. no. You you got a nub on your pencil. You can't even write. <laughs> no, like, I remember I, I took him off and tried to let him hang. You know what I mean? Because so he tried to style him yeah, up. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna do. Wear that with your AJ. I'm getting lit. <laughs> Mm. I'm complained about the odd stuff today. I'm trying to. I did try to help him out with his outfit today. You know, it was like, man, throw these jeans on, nice little polo shirt. You know, you got a white, crispy white polo. Right. Throw your ones on, or you, you know, let's let's keep it nice and clean. He was like, I don't want to wear no polo shirt. Oh, he's <laughs> like, wow. I was like, you, how you? When did polo shirts become right. out of the, or I am I just the staple. old dad now? When you say that, it kind of sounds like the old dad. Wait, when uh, did polo mm-hmm. shirts? Uh, I, I don't really be seeing people I, wearing no I more. I thought though. polos was just like just across they, the board, just, all, always was, good. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they was always in. Yeah. And we talking about just polo shirts in general, not the brand, right? I mean, bo- yeah. this the, happened the to be both. What are they actually called? Collar shirts? No, they call they're called polo. They're called, they're, they're called polo. No, yeah. the brand is polo. I know. It's like Kleenex. But it's also called polo. Like but if you Google cut. polo shirts, yeah. it's, it's going to give you oh, the collar yeah. the style with Short, the button yeah. up right here. Huh. Was yeah. it the polo with the big polo on it? I never liked polo. that. <laughs> <laughs> I just like regular polo. Yeah, the little, the little horse. Yeah, I don't I, need no logo. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even the want the little horse. The <laughs> oh, was the big one? Yeah, the big one. It was the big one. Oh well, yeah. I can see why he yeah, shot yeah, the baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get it. Because that's gonna date it. <laughs> you yeah. got it at Costco. You yeah. like, no, no, it, it, it was a good one. It was one of the yeah. ones that you get at the Nordstrom's for kids. It was the silky kind. It wasn't the hard. Fucking crust the scratchy joint. joint. Yeah, yeah. It was you gotta good, get the right material. It was a quality polo. <laughs> that, that logo too much, man. It is a chill. Lot. It and is it because it reminds you of the one that's the, the what's the Ross one called? What's their brand called? You, yeah. yeah, it reminds they their logos be dumb, mm. man. I'll be like, man, look out. Yeah. Right, they got the three quarter version of the right. horse. <laughs> so you would call it a Lacoste polo. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what you huh. would call it, a Lacoste polo. Yeah. Huh. But I always like to have polos in the rotation somewhere. It's oh, a quick yeah. fix for mm-hmm. some of you. Don't want to wear a t-shirt and you still you don't want to dress too up. Right. Quick fix. Polo I'm shirt. wearing a polo. I got two. Tonight. It's the dad shirt. The dad I don't want to go shirt. Like I ain't gonna get dressed up, but I'm gonna throw oh, this yeah. polo. I don't on want so that like me a function. I oh yeah, got a, yeah. It's cool. It's legit. Mm-hmm. Can you put a tie on a polo? No. 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 Oh, okay. Absolutely. No. You can tuck it in. Though. Thanks for weird. telling me. Slow down. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, we should say, yeah, yeah, DC. I am to the age where I will throw on a smooth golf shirt. Golf shirts is clean. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, it's just like, uh, they like, uh, what's the, it's not sweatpants material, but it's like that workout yeah. material where it's like, it's some, mm-hmm. it's silky smooth. It's like wearing Not satin. like rayon. Not, well, no. It's no, they, but they are like, uh, what's that material What's the material called? called? You know what I mean? It. Yeah. It's like a polyester, not, not mesh, but not, not mesh, but like not. that Under Armour type. Yeah, yeah. You know what exactly what, what you're it's, talking it's about. It's that, yeah. Yeah. but the, it's like a loose Under Armour shirt. Yeah, with the with the collars, and you can get it in a billion colors. Yeah, you know, I mm-hmm. rock out like that with some. You know, that's that's my go-to for the weekend. But yeah. I see you play golf. golf yeah, you be golfing yeah, heavy too. Yes. Golf you got some nice golf outfits. Um, thank you. I do. I'm like I'd wear yeah, that to the, the one club you just posted. You was out the country somewhere. Where were you at? I was in uh, Hawaii. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. in the country, DC. <laughs> my no. I, I, I'm going by from the picture. The way the picture. Yeah, Hawaii. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Somewhere else. Hawaii. It's not like Hawaii. No, that was where they did Jurassic Park. Yeah. That was one of the most beautiful courses I've ever seen. The Royal Hawaiian. That was. Great course. You one of the best dressed comedians out here. Like you always be clean. I appreciate that. But it be looking like you're not overdoing it. Yeah. It just be clean. Every time I see you, I'll be like, man, Jay Fields. Okay. <laughs> He's dressed so nice. You know he got cigars. You like that man got a cigar. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Don't don't ask me what's in it. <laughs> I'm sure I got one. <laughs> Gotta have him ready. On deck. Never know. Most be dressing good as comedians. I know Jay. I got Jay up there. London, um, London Brown, mm-hmm. um, Malik, Malik, yeah, Malik S. Yeah. Um, hmm. DL, DL be dressing get nice. Oh, DL, oh, DL, for DL sure. get down. DL for sure. get busy. Yeah, uh, yeah DL, DL, DL suits. DL should be expensive, and it don't look like it's supposed to be. Like he'll wear a six thousand dollars sweatsuit. No, 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 it's no, like no. wow. Yeah. It's like, it's like I'm, I, that's pretty nice. Let me get you know. You go look at him, like God damn, twenty nine hundred oh, for the sheesh. jacket. Damn. <laughs> His leathers be super soft yeah. and light. You be like, mm. damn, 
they took a lot of time rubbing lotion on that calf. I've yeah. never seen him in like a sweatsuit either. Yeah, he rocks them. Well, he, probably he, like on the, on the, the shows. It seemed like when he, he do performed. Do it on the shows? Does he really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Every once in a while, suit. he'll throw on a sweatsuit like one of them. Kind of, you know, only he can buy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Exclusive. Yeah, he got one of them joints on. So he'll throw that on. I remember Damien used to rock expensive, real, real expensive shit. And I tried to talk about it. And he's like, you know how much this costs? And I'm like, all right, I ain't going to talk about your clothes no more. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, he was $10,000 blazer on. And I was like, 10000 yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, man. All right. I ain't going to talk no more. Damn. Cars. Yeah. For a blazer. Mm-hmm. It's like, damn, but I still don't like it. Man, <laughs> it's one of the things that on the road they be like, "Let's go shopping." What do you do with it after you done wearing? You know what I mean? You, your nine wears. Yeah, yeah. You, you give it to the assistants or whatever. Or or like my homeboy, Damn. his girl was a uh, Courtney Kardashian's assistant. Okay. So when Scott Disick would get rid of all his stuff, he was like, "Shit, I'll take it." Oh, you know give, I mean? yeah, you yeah, give it wear it like one yeah. time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it, and it's it's one billion. Thread count, blah, blah. So he was like, that's how he started wearing like suits and stuff. Cause he was like, I hated suits until I wore suits Good. that cost. He felt the comfort. And he was like, it felt like yeah. a t shirt. Mm-hmm. You don't mm-hmm. feel like this scratchy shit we get from Ross. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like legit. So he was like, all right. Damon used to do this thing called Good Junk Sale where he'd let us all come by and just grab shit. All mm-hmm. the nephews and Damn. little brothers. And we'd be in elementary school with. All this really, really expensive shit <laughs> <laughs> without the shoes to match. Right. <laughs> the Versace shoes, Versace shirt, and some pro kids. <laughs> they pan down like, oh, oh, wreck and scratch. Dang, Dang 10K, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot. lot. Yeah. That's, just, cool. just, yeah. that's just too much. That's how I go, though. Yeah. yeah. I know. I can't. <laughs> I'd wear that shit everywhere. People always try to shoot you down because it's expensive. But mean? I stay in firm. I'm like, this shit is ugly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you know how much this costs? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just ain't up on it's it. It's ugly. I'm yep. not up on it. And, I, and, I'm, not, and I'm not a, I'm not <laughs> right. a fan of just because it's expensive, that means it's dope or it's no, fashionable. Right. No, absolutely All not. them shoes that be coming out of them, them shits is ugly. A, a lot of ones? Kanye stuff they to me, ugly. I, I, ugly. I, I be like, it's, it's terrible. Ugly, bro. Them shoes. Yeah. Much bulky. Not the stuff he puts in the stores, but the stuff he actually wears. I'm like, oh, come on. You got The stuff he put in the stores? Yeah. Ugly. Trash. Yeah. Them little sea coral looking shoes. Trash. Yeah, bro. Trash. Right. Trash. I ain't Trash. never seen him with like, oh no. Oh, oh, no. Those no. fire. No. Every time all the Balenciagas are ugly. Like, all the, all that but shit the Balenciagas ugly. are ugly it's to me. It's all terrible. Too. Yeah. Yeah. But it's expensive. I don't give a shit. You don't be, like the socks? I guess shoes? I gotta be quiet throughout all no. this shit. I'm oh. a weird shoe dude. Bro. I like it. Well, what, ugly. What's your go to shoes? A goat? I don't really uh now that I don't have. Okay. Like on some you know, when I'm going, when I'm performing, because that's those are performance shoes. Okay, mm-hmm. right. the way I look at that, like you know, some I got a couple, like two pair of Fendi's that I really like. Okay, um, Fendi's are still relatively like a decent size though. No, these are these are stupid. bulky joints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no. In a, in a I, I call, Costco I call all them joints stupid. my six footers, <laughs> and I put them shits on. I'm six feet tall, bro. That, that's all I, I need. That little extra inch boost every once in a while. Now I'm a six footer. You can get out of here with that. <laughs> I, said, I wear stupid. my six footers. My my Alexander McQueens when I'm I like you know, those. Yeah. You know, nice and subtle. I like I, those. I got those and I got a those bunch of nice. different joints in those. You know what I'm saying? So those are my those are kind of my go-to, mm. you know, I could do those for, I, I classify my shoes by how many shows in a night I can wear them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Some right. shoes, some shoes ain't two show shoes. Yeah. Oh, what <laughs> you mean? Like, they uncomfortable. If, if they not comfortable, oh. I can't sit in these joints for the whole night. Dang. I can do eight o'clock show or nine o'clock show uh-huh. and be on kick them shits off and back to the Crocs by 11. Right. <laughs> you know, but I ain't finna, you know, Seven to two these joints right here. <laughs> <laughs> these, these ain't seven to two shoes, nah. bro. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Them Chanel's and them Fendi's be heavy too. Yeah. I'm looking at Fendi's I now. Yeah. I don't know what they look like. What's your go-to shoe, DC? Go-to shoes. I'm simple. You know me. I'm on. I, I like how New Balances feel. Chucks. <laughs> which which New Balance? <laughs> uh, the Eagles. original joints. The, okay. yeah. the running ones, the, yeah. the oh, new balances, it. Chucks. What was it, 51? Ones. Uh, Air Force of ones, ones or Jordan, Jordan ones. ones? Jordan ones. Yeah, I got ones, a lot of yeah. them. But I like them for the jeans, just how they go over jeans. Yep, mm-hmm. that's why I, I wear jeans on stage. Yeah. I always have on the ones. The ones, the jeans, they just, they just the perfect shoe for jeans. Especially if my feet too big for my height. Mm-hmm. So I'll be like, yep, 
I'm rocking these. Vans. Sometimes I can't do vans. vans. No, I, I love vans. My feet too big for my height. They, the, I, got, I saw a picture of <laughs> uh-huh. me on stage when Vans was popping. Like, you know, in the Bay, Van, Vans was like Van, super yeah, popping. Uh-huh. And I caught a picture of me at the punchline. I look like shy show Bob. It was probably the jeans though. <laughs> no, but the it was it was that's why I don't wear low tops. Because okay. my feet, I wear thirteen. Okay. So I'm 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 supposed to be y'all height, but I got y'all size yeah. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm wearing jeans with them long ass shoes, I look ridiculous. It looks silly. Like, yeah. It looks ridiculous. Right. Yeah. So I gotta wear high tops. That's why yeah. I wear high tops all the time. But I think Vans and Chucks, I think they run bigger than what they look. So you can get a, a size down. Yeah. I don't know. I just really look the Chucks. Long. They look long and skinny. I can't do chucks. Why not? Yeah, canvas shoes and have no. I need. I We've need been in LA padding. too long, Jay. You got it. Hey man, <laughs> at least I, one person. I've tried it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it, but man, I feel like Chuck Taylor didn't put enough emphasis on the inside of the shoe. Oh he did no! Not. Oh no! He Imagine, did nothing, man. And they hooped in those. Yeah. Now, that's what I'm saying. I was yeah. like, dude, I yeah. couldn't do it. Like yeah. you know, uh, when I when I played, here's when I thought I was going to be able to do it. Um, they made us wear chucks. When I did semi pro, I do remember. Yep, we yeah, had sure to wear did. chucks for a while, boy. I, I I had to raise my hand and tap out, bro. I was like, we gotta have another alternative <laughs> for the seventies. This ain't it. Dress shoes with all the other alternative. <laughs> nah, but the three stripe, uh, the three stripe Adidas was out. Oh then. yeah, the Kareem's. The Kareem's. Oh, they was. Yeah, the super so, high top. Yeah, okay. so I had to rock those, but uh, them them chucks. Yeah, was, chucks wait, wait, wait. We chucks did that and vans movie, are not comfortable. Y'all no. was really running around in them chucks and stuff. Hell yeah. Oh, who snap? Yeah. Yeah, they taped our ankles. <laughs> oh, they, they, which they, they didn't to. do in the seventies. You know? yeah. They sure didn't. Yeah, seventies is a wild time. As far I'm surprised as it wasn't more bad ankle. In, in the sixties, they was hooping in belts. Yeah, you can find oh, a picture yeah. of Bill Russell, bro, at USF. He got a belt on a belt, like, like a, yeah, belt a belt on dog. his hoop yeah. shorts, bro. Yeah, satin shorts with a brown. They be talking about players back in the day. <laughs> Facts. I, I'm dead ass serious. Facts. Yeah, maybe like players back in the day. I'm like, if a nigga can jump. From the free throw line in a belt and chucks, and chucks. he could play it in the air. Damn yeah. it! Yeah. Like that's that's ridiculous. Yeah, I can't I can't do that though. I, I don't know how people, you know. I, I commend y'all, L.A. folks, to be able to do that type of shit, man. <laughs> I don't think it's some LA loose here. some <laughs> loose chucks. I mean, you know, they they wear the chucks with right. you know with oh, the, yeah. with the tongue flapped out. <laughs> yeah, they hurt. That hurt. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right. I had a pair of chucks. I was like, man, these are uncomfortable. Yeah, you didn't like them. Oh, they I like the way they look. It was like all black ones. Yeah, that I had. yeah, but they were uncomfortable. Definitely for the look, the comfort. Definitely like, soared my uh, yeah. feet out. And I'm flat footed. Yeah, they're just hella narrow too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's just nothing good about I'm them. Just like, nah, I can't do these. Yeah, I missed out do. on the original Air Force. Uh, the I mean the ones <clears throat> era because triple X. I mean triple X shirts and. Uh, Mm-hmm. Big jeans was out, mm-hmm. so it just ruined the whole experience for me. Because all you seen was the front of the shoe. So That's the only really way it looked it good to me. I don't like. Um, I hate it. I don't even like yeah. Air Force ones like that. Nah. When everyone was buying them, I was like, I'm talking about the Jordan. That's ones. what I'm saying. They looked better oh. with the jeans was big because mm-hmm. it hit a lot of the shoe. But now the skinny jeans, I'm like, nah. look, yeah. It was just. I tried though. I wanted to like them. I, yeah, I had a pair. Because aesthetically. Yeah. A pair. I bought a pair. I bought a pair one <laughs> once. So yeah. like, right. I had them just because I'm supposed to have. I'm a, I'm a shoe guy, so yeah. I have them in my you know have them in my rotation. The rotation is like every once in a while. It's yeah. like, all right, you know yeah. These, yeah. these are roll with <laughs> right. this today, you know. Right. But it's just you know something you're supposed to have. You know you I'm a I just go whenever I'm out. If I go to a Nike store, if I'm in a different city or something, uh-huh. I go see what. What the Nike store got over there. What mm. color you got that I can't find here? Even if it's a one or something that I don't wear, and be like, nigga, teal. I mean, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you you pull it out, yeah. you know, and and just put it in the you know put it in the rotation one day. And I I got some ones like that, but I would never ever do that. Just in in general. Did y'all get to your bows? Nope. Yeah, I never got. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I had a pair. The Could kind with the three it. buttons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> with, the, with the label across the, the yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 I couldn't afford it. It was a price that I was like, nope. Yeah. We went to the outlet in Jersey. I didn't say mine's a real. <laughs> <laughs> I got I this before. What was yours called? Uh, they look like no. Jabos. No. I, yours was Jer- I, did the, I did the full. <laughs> the Johnnies. I did the full uh, denim outfits, though. Oh, uh, the, the jacket and the pants. Oh, yeah. I did those. The, what are they called? The that? Carl Kanai uh, one yeah. or the. Canadian no, tuxedo. No, no. It wasn't no brand. Carl on Canard them. jacket with the it. jeans. Man, I had, yeah, you, you were selling dope. My brother had it. I wore his. <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Y'all let me, let me wear that Carl Canard outfit you got. That Carl Canard stuff was dope. Oh, yeah. I had a homie that worked at the merry go round. 
in DC. That's a place where you get. You know, that's where the urban, urban clothes was. Mm-hmm. So it was like so you, you can always connect. You, yeah, you can go in there and, and rub your hands together and kind of yeah. get a little discount every <laughs> once in a while. Like, Come on, fam, get that for the eighty. Come on, you know, let me, get, let me get all this here for the eighty. <laughs> that's when you get the hookup. You know, now they they tra- they bar track them right. shits now, boy. You yeah. know, they, them shits never canal. came in the box as far as he was concerned. <laughs> It's Man. wild that they used to really let teens work at these stores. Yeah, like because we used to have friends that like would work at Nike, and they'd be like, they would take shoes out and and put them in a trash bag, and they'd be like, just check the dumpster. That was yeah. ev- that and was, was just, everybody's that was everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just check the dumpster. Yeah. So you Man. go in the back, check the dumpster, and it's like, all right, got what I need, and they just you know cash me out. Teens mm-hmm. working anywhere. Remember when your friends be at the fast food restaurants and you pull oh. up to the drive. Oh, oh, was, oh, man. Yeah. yeah. They'd be like, when you, when you work? I'd be like, come through at, yeah. at 11. Right. <laughs> <laughs> come through at 11. You want somebody to not be late? Tell them to come through for the hookup at 11. Right. Come through at 11. <laughs> They'd be like, I'm, work, I'm working drive through uh-huh. today. <laughs> I tell them exactly what to do. All you do is order, just order a burger mm-hmm. and I'll hook everything else yeah, up. I'm just order stuff in there. Dairy a burger. Queen, I got you, man. Yeah. It ain't going to be completely free, but I'm, I'm going to throw in the yeah. extra. You can throw the extra. Yeah. I'm going to charge you. Piece. You got to order I'm something. A, I'm, I'm yeah. going to lace the bag with yeah. nuggets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And depending on where you work, like when I did Burger King, it was very easy to hook up because they had nuggets, they had fries, they had things. but I did in and out I couldn't do the burgers because I didn't work the grill. Uh-huh. So I'm like, just order a burger, but the shakes, fries, soda, I'll be like, mm-hmm. like Good they would deal. order one burger, but they get in three bags. <laughs> I was handing out everything. I'm like, it ain't mine. And when you see what they do with it after, they're gonna throw it away. Yep. So I'm right here. I remember one of our friends, we we he got he hooked it up. And then after he hooked it up, we sat and ate in the uh, in the parking lot. He was like, "Hey, nigga, <laughs> y'all gotta leave. <laughs> y'all gotta get up out of here." Yeah, go, bad. Our bad. Did he come to the car? Yeah. He's like, "Y'all gotta get up out of here. <laughs> can't float up the spot. Yeah. <laughs> y'all just bought dope and sat in the parking lot and did it. We were y'all chilling like man. Smoked it right in front yeah. of the police station. Women, Darnell, hella cool. Huh? <laughs> y'all gotta get up out of here. Had like, the windows down, yeah. talking. Man, he gave Hell of free shit right. in here, man. <laughs> the manager just yeah, walked yeah, in. Yeah. I gotta go back in for some napkins. No. <laughs> Boy, the spot we up. used to do trades with other um, spots too. Like uh-huh. the In and Out I worked out, there was a Krispy Kreme um, in the same parking lot. Okay. So they would come through and uh, we hooked them up. And then when we get off work, they would leave us boxes of donuts. So oh, I, would, I would come home with like two boxes of donuts. And my brothers and my mom and dad would be like. Oh, y'all had an operation Yeah, going yeah, we had yeah. a whole. And then my brother worked at um, Roundtable. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, so how you did Roundtable was, was my brother would be like, call an order and cancel it. Mm. <laughs> and then they leave the pizza. They'd be like, oh, it's an extra pizza. would be like, oh, I'll take, I'll take it, it home. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I guess I'll <laughs> yeah so we would food. call right before he got off. And be like, oh, no, we don't want it no more. And then we get pizza. So oh, we had pizza, donuts, snap. burgers. We had an operation going, oh, bro. Everybody man. worked at a different spot. We was hooking it up. Well, Keith was at Roundtable? Mm-hmm. Oh, I would pick him up from that's work. That's why me and Keith connect. You I love round round I love me some Roundtable. The Dang. closest thing I had was Sean worked at the movie theater, and he let us in free, but we had to bring our own cup in a bag because he couldn't. He had to take all, they take inventory oh, yeah. on the cups in oh, the bags. Okay. Mm-hmm. I used to manage a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> the, the dollar movies? Uh, oh, I was all over the dollar movies. Oh, bro. <laughs> Man, I, I, it's like I felt I, that was one of my first jobs that I grew through. You know, I started at like at 16 and ain't leave till I was like 19, 20. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's a good gave amount me of time. my prime money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you became manager. Yeah, I was up there. You yeah. worked yeah. your way washing lettuce. Yes. I my had a key. Oh, man. Once you have a key, you in there. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm I opening run, the place up. Yeah, I work for box office, the popcorn machine in that bitch. Dang. You know what I mean? 18 years old, tell them, tuck your pants in. You yeah. don't look yeah. respectable. <laughs> <laughs> giving people the bank. <laughs> Take your bank. It's 900 quarter pennies. This ain't going to be no segue. I'm just going straight to the ad. Oh, yeah, Go ahead and get them. Um, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Yeah. Let's talk about sex. Mm-hmm, Guys, yeah. remember the days when you were always ready to go? <clears throat> now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, bluechew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. What? You can take them anytime, day or night. You can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity 
arises. Mm -hmm. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the U.S. of A and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Mm. That's important. Hey, man, discreet. Discretion. (laughs) That's key. (laughs) The neighbors be nosy. Keep it on the low. You know, you don't want no big ass, you know, oh, excuse my language. You don't want no big blue chew package. And be like, oh, okay. Yeah. See what's going on. Hey, <laughs> blue chew you know week. I'm about? Hey, you gotta get it right. Um, Keon tried it and said it was a good time. Um, good times all around. <laughs> mm-hmm. hey. Well, for me. He arose to the occasion, mm-hmm. if you will. Um, I tried it once and I had a good time. Hey, turn it I, I, I don't know if it was because of Blue Chew or just because it was a good time, but it was a good time. Mm-hmm. Right. Good time. So record, in my mind, your tongue blue now. Hey, see? You know <laughs> what I'm saying? It's all part of it. It's been blue ever since. No, I had, blue ever since. I had a Jolly Rancher. But, uh, what? Yeah. So now I associate the good time with the Blue Chew. <laughs> that's how you do it. And that's how you do it right there. You want the good times. So um, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free. When you use the promo code issues <laughs> at checkout, just pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code issues to receive your first month free. Oh, man. That's visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And uh, we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Mm, that's mm, a deal. Yeah, man, that's a good that's deal. A, that's a deal. Come on, man. Man, I got a question. Oh, oh, oh yeah. DC question in the middle. Go ahead. You got, got it, Chris. <laughs> Questions, questions, questions. <laughs> With D.C. Irvin. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pretty simple. Mm-hmm. Your scenario, you're in a scary movie style scenario. Mm-hmm. You look outside, you see some of your friends dead. Mm. Inside, oh. some of your friends are dead. Oh. Mm-hmm. You're the last one. Mm-hmm. Are you going to take your chances with surviving outside? Or inside that house. You don't know where the killer is. <clears throat> outside or inside that house. Do I know the house? You're just in a house. So oh, a house. Just yes. a random house? This is a random house. Wow. Airbnb. Airbnb. You know what? I think I like my chances outside, man. You think you'll go outside? I think so. Mm-hmm. Are they are they stabbed or are they shot? You can't tell from a distance. The ones inside, you can tell. They all got stabbed. Stabbed. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. silent. Yeah. I'm going outside. I think going I'm still out- going outside. You going outside to deal with them outside? Deal yeah. with my- these legs. Come. They done got me a long way. I feel like I got more options outside. Yeah. I don't know. That's why I actually have a shot, because if somebody's outside sniping, what am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? But if they were Aren't stabbed- there more weapons inside, though? Yeah, but you're confined. I want to be able Corner. to move. Yeah. Okay. I- but I kind of do like the corner. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm, I feel like I can defend I, myself. I feel like if I can put my back to the corner yeah. and grab me a little bit of self defense, right, you right. know what I'm saying? I got a shot. You Hopefully, ain't, they ain't got a gun. Yeah, you ain't finna yeah. just walk up on me yeah. and stab me. I mean, we're going we gonna to have a skirmish. Yeah. You know yeah. What I'm, saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I'm going to beat up Jason, but goddamn, we're going to skirmish. I like that better right. than them just being able to walk me down and pulling up in the bushes. Yeah. Goddamn yeah. Way. Outside is just it's too open. It's, it's, too, yeah. it's too much to go on outside. Yeah. But, See, you say you. You can run, but if you don't know where you run into, and you don't know what kind of killer far, he is, no, what if you same boat? And that's you know what I mean. What if you are dealing with someone that's as fast? I'm going I mean, outside and just running in a straight line. <laughs> just even if I get killed, I'm be further than everybody else. So they'll be like, man, oh, it's he tried. Almost. He tried. Yeah. He tried. Yeah. Yeah. They did. He he won. Tried. They're not gonna be. No, I'm talking about with the news. Yeah. The, the news story come out, they'd be like, one tried to get away because you know people gonna read the news story and be like, why y'all dumbasses staying out? Yeah. And I don't want to be that guy. So at least I got killed outside trying to escape. I tried. No, nah, they're yeah. gonna have my autopsy. They're gonna see scrapes and struggle. Yeah. In my hands. He fought. Nah, he fought. He fought. He fought. He That's fought. what he gonna have. They gonna be. They be stabbed in my back, seven hundred yards away. <laughs> and then I might be able to <laughs> scramble up some weapons in that house. That's what yeah. I'm thinking. Inside, you yeah. might have a. You, you can find yeah. something. Get a frying pan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm gonna have the, the pot the, killer. Like ah. Oh. 
<laughs> like breathing hard, side yeah. hurting. I don't think killers are in shape like <laughs> I'm that. I'm not it fast. Is. I don't know. I know I'm not fast right yeah. now. Because if they come down to that. I don't think they in shape. I'm taking my chances. And they all got coveralls on. You can't really wear Yeah, they got outfits. That's just, like, we're tired. <laughs> <laughs> and boots. <laughs> you gonna be tired. I think I'm gonna take my chances inside. Yeah, I'm gonna do it inside. Yeah, yeah I'm back inside. Back against the wall. Yeah. yeah, sitting in the corner, kneel down. Where I can see everything. Yep. Yeah, I feel like inside, I can plan an escape route. You know what I mean? Like once you see where the goddamn dude is. Yeah. Now it's just like, all right, there he is. Throw something in front of him. Hit the bush. <laughs> drop that. You know, d- d- yeah. you do the whole fucking. You know, uh, Macaulay Coughlin. Right. You know, you go, you go full <laughs> Macaulay <laughs> Coughlin <laughs> on him. <laughs> Swinging paint man, bang out, and right. hit him with a juke move. Fucking hezzy and get hit head to the outside. I'm out, bro. You yeah. can lock at least one though, too. Yeah. Yeah. Dead yeah, boat lock. Hold on. Dude. Y'all seen the horror movies? When you do that, then he comes from under the bed. He's always in the room you in. Every time. They I feel like outside, lie. like every time I watch, I would watch Friday the 13th and I, I, I could see, I'm like, he's not catching me. They just doing goofy shit like tripping and falling or, you know, hiding something. Every time they get killed, All they be stop the slow killers though. We don't know what this, we don't know how this dude right. get down. But if he, if he get down like that outside, what you they all your friends, so, hey man, they changed, <laughs> they changed the slow killer narrative as time went on. Yeah. Like but scream, they be running fast. They be fast, yeah. quick. They be running yes. fast. Yeah. And, and for the record, Jason caught Dudley. He did catch. You know what? Dudley survived. Well, he survived. He still caught his ass. Though. Yeah, I remember Dudley took off. <laughs> Dudley <laughs> from different strokes. Oh yeah, no, I like that. Stared at the camera. I like the Dudley. Yeah, Dudley from uh, no different Dudley strokes. From different yeah. Different yeah. That was him in the uh, the bike shop getting pictures taken of him by the man. Which way? Which Jason oh, was that? That was. Uh, <laughs> I think it was like four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Friday the Thirteenth. Four. It was three or four. Dudley yeah, yeah. survived. Yeah. It looked like they spared the camera. If he was out of there. I gotta see that again. <laughs> Dudley survived though. <laughs> but yeah, Jason oh, always crazy. told me yeah. Yeah. he never ran. That's what was what unbelievable. Yeah, he never that's what ran. I'm saying. Like, like, man, come on, man. How? <laughs> even as a kid, I'd he be like, never how? sprinted. Never. He didn't even jog. Jason didn't no. even jog. He's like, he'll he run out of energy. You down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and caught you because they stopped every time they would stop in a house or something. Let's go. On. Just keep how long going. Can you sprint. Just, you don't have to sprint, but if he's walking, you just need a nice little pace. You see somebody with a you see, <laughs> you, you see somebody hold up a head and a knife. Yeah. You ain't finna pace yeah. yourself, bro. Yeah. You got some you ain't, full, it's full, 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 full sprint. Full yeah. force, bro. I'm running until I get to the city. Yeah. That's the thing. See, they would stay, they would always go off the main. Why do you go off the main trail? You gotta stay on, stay on, on the, the main tra- trail. Yeah. You might get you might can flag somebody down. Mm-hmm. You can, but I understand, like in movies, you have to have. A plot, so they're going to make the dumb decision to keep it moving keep forward. Yeah, but in, but in real life, true. main roads where I can see real life and movies y- in fifteen minutes. You yeah. just gotta. I'll take my chances. But if we're talking about something like Freddy, Fre- uh, well, you I, know. I can't. He got me. I'm. I'm gonna go to sleep. Going to sleep. <laughs> I, I eat too much. Not to go to sleep. You're going I'm gonna to take sleep. me in that. Yeah. He gonna catch me because I'm gonna be laughing at what he say. He yeah. always got a punchline. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm about to die. That yeah. was hilarious. Yeah, you a good time, Freddie. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah, Freddie get you easily. He's mm-hmm. going to sleep. Yeah. He used to scare me because there's nothing you, you can do. There's nothing you, you can sleep. do. Gotta yeah. sleep. There's nothing you can do. You got Jason, sleep. Chucky. I'll be like, man. Yeah, you kick Chucky. Here. <laughs> he Chucky yeah, I feel like ass. I can whoop Chucky. I can get yeah. Chucky. How many he of lost. guys you really believe that you can win? How many of them horror dudes do you think you got a shot at? Like, I think I know. I know I'm stumping Chucky out. Chucky, oh, yeah. I got Chucky. Chucky I got no issue him. with. I'm warped. kicking Jigsaw off that little bike. I'm kicking. <laughs> if I could get around yeah. that chainsaw, I think I can handle Leatherface. You think so? Ooh. Oh. Leatherface oh, looks like that's a bad chainsaw. He looks slow yeah. though. Yeah. That's yeah. the whole thing. That, without the chainsaw, I think I can get him. The new Leatherface. He'd be, he be sloppy with it. Like I haven't seen him in that a long a time. I'm basing yeah. him on the old one. Yeah. Jason just looks too strong. Yeah, no, he, he did look strong. He knocked somebody's head off. Unhurtable. Yeah, you seen the boxer. Yeah. That's why I was like, when y'all say y'all fight Jason. him. Yeah, you can't wrestle Jason. You no. can't. Yeah. He gets hit by cars and stabbed and shot. Yeah. And he's Michael still Myers, back. I don't want no smoke he's with same him. Either. strength. Yeah. They got that strength. Yeah. Um, Candyman. I, I think if Candyman that that hook loose enough. He tall. He a big dude. Yeah, yeah but he, he a pimp. That hook. Pimps can't fight. 
Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone I seen got dragged with their little dress shoes. Yeah. Yeah. They shoot you with a 22. <laughs> Back off me, bitch. <laughs> or stab you with their cane yeah. knife. <laughs> I don't know if Candyman can fight, though. I don't know. I don't want to take the chance. You can't yeah. swing in he a big fool. jacket like that. He they don't cook. look like he's not in. He looks like he's in shape. Yeah. yeah. He's God. a big dude. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Who else is There's not many that just that, that I'm willing to take my chances. What about against? the scream dude? They be getting their asses kicked. Yeah. They be fast though, but they be they be struggling. That's what I liked about Scream. They would struggle with the they with would. the victims. You can get the away victims from would here. be fighting back every yeah. time. Because it'd be a real dude under there. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can beat up a I'm not taking my chance with a dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not taking it. My supernatural person, I'm probably gonna lose. <laughs> but it, with a person, like, hey, hey, nigga, what's up? It's me, it's me <laughs> and you. you and like, I take my chance. Right. That's why I say I'm staying in the house. This is, this is the Hopefully a person. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's a person, and I could just. He yeah. Hopefully they ain't got no gun. Right. Yeah. The gun. The, the gun. Just, it don't matter where we at. Yeah. That's in or right. right. Yeah. Unless I, uh, unless I'm in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they come in, yeah, gun yeah. for like, grab. You can you can struggle you can struggle with a gun, yeah. bro. but <laughs> struggle <laughs> sick. <laughs> that's why they don't want to be outside too. If they got a gun, it's it's a lot harder to shoot me. From far oh, away, then close range. Oh, bro, I, you don't know, you know where they at, yeah, bro. Yeah. They got an automatic weapon. Yeah. yeah. Well, shit, you done anyway. Yeah. Nah, inside, you can, not, not, not inside. Yeah, he gonna let off through the door. I, yeah, yeah, I run, you can feel me. So he can he can miss in the house, but not outside. He can. Bro, <laughs> he can there's a chance he can miss in the house. If yeah. I'm locked in the closet, he can shoot it all up. He might not hit me. He might not hit me. And it's a bigger chance of being closer range with him inside. Where you yeah. can grab the gun and, and struggle mm -hmm. outside if I'm running, <laughs> outside, he, just, he can be in a tree. <laughs> he let off like predator when they were shooting the trees. <laughs> Hell no, I don't want to take that chance. That's another problem. I wouldn't want to fight predator either. Oh, oh hell no. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Man, you got too many. Nah, he he so blow up smoke. and destroy the whole city. Yeah. Nah, I don't want no smoke with them. But hey, I would fight Freddy. If in in in, in my style. I would fight Freddy. I fight Freddy. He's frail. He was a sweater. Yeah. Well, you also watch that glove though. Dan, yeah. Danny Glover beat him though. The predator, the predator, yeah. Arnold, Arnold, Danny, yeah. The 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 uh the girl from back in the day. And that's crazy because I don't put Danny Glover up there as the <laughs> as the hero that can beat up something <laughs> like that. Like, I feel like I definitely could take Danny Glover at that. Uh, He's a big like, dude though. I don't yeah. care. He starts the movie off limping. He's right. always like, yeah, <laughs> oh, all right. That's, that was his run. Too old for this shit at the <laughs> kind beginning. Of told too. <laughs> He was running. What we got, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm mm. on the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was part three, right? Two. Pre two? Okay. Mm. Yeah. I tried to watch it. I was like, this is I like that one. This is terrible. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was so yeah. bad, it was good. It yeah. was terrible. It was that? one of them. It was, a two, it was Tubi version. Yeah, it was so bad. It was good. <laughs> like, I rewatched it recently. The Tubi like, Tournament. Yeah. Terminator. <laughs> it was bad, but it was a good time. Oh, you went back to it and played oh, yeah, it? for sure. I'll yeah, watch it I'll watch it again, yeah. The first one is amazing. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. the, the second one? one takes place in an apartment building. <laughs> in, in front of it's like, come on! It was all futuristic yeah, when it came out. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Nineteen ninety-seven, yeah. Los Angeles. <laughs> Ooh, the <laughs> fuse breaking into the spaceship. It was so hot. It just looked oh, yeah. hot. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why the Predator was there. They like them hot locations. So since it was a heat wave in Los Angeles, it was like and it was violence. They was like, "This is my kind of shit." Started taking everybody. We out. summer ending though, right? We about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, Labor Day. This wasn't that bad. To where it was it, when the it summer, got hot, it got, it got hot. hot. But, but yeah, it was the summer long wasn't lasting. No, nah, it wasn't how normal. It could have been yeah. worse. What it was is we had the longest. We had more rain this summer than it has been since I've ever been here. Mm. Yeah. This is this is the most I've ever. Tony, seen Tony, rain. Tony. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> niggas lie. Yeah, <laughs> it was raining like shit this summer. It's finally green out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which you is just thank see God. brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, the fact that I just went to Phoenix, I think I have to change my what we said is about where you want to do heat at. Phoenix wasn't that bad. Oh, well, you picked a good week. You picked a good yeah. week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They were just talking on the news. Phoenix they had dangerous. a record. I was uh, there that week too. One hundred and ten, the most one hundred and ten degree days ever. Yeah, it was like, like fifty the twenty. It was like it was like twenty eight when I was there. Yeah, yeah. But what it was is like because we we were walking, <laughs> and their their hundred like it was a hundred. We were there. It didn't feel. I felt like the Valley Hundred was hotter. Like theirs had like a. It was like a, like a breeze. And maybe because it was an overcast. I don't know. But we were walking. It was like this ain't. Like, like Phoenix heat just be open. It was a hundred and an overcast. The mm -hmm. day yeah. the day we was there was the same weekend you was there. Uh, it was like ninety something. 
That ain't bad. So that's way sweet. cooler. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Than it normally yeah. is. Yeah. So yeah. Like, even when we were there, one twenty one. Like, it feels it feels all right today. Yeah. But I know what Phoenix is oh, capable of. Oh, absolutely. So I, knew, I, I knew we came in on the flu. We right. we called mad flutes because when we went to Dallas, they were like, yo, y'all just missed the heat wave. We're like, man, we bringing the cooler temperatures. Right. It was a record in Des Moines where it was like, they was like, we ain't never experienced this. It was 100. And I was like, this it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm talking, but I guess them, I'm talking about like, for, if all things being equal, like Phoenix 100 felt better than our 100. Or like, like if I'm doing a Vegas 100, I'd be feeling that Vegas 100. I'd be like, Jesus Christ. Like the the hundred I, I experienced in Phoenix, I was like, "This is not that bad." What time of the day were you out and about? Midday. I think for me, like, but it, it was like a breeze for some reason, like that. It was I don't that's know. Very just, rare. Yeah, that's rare. It was just yeah. weird. Like, that, that, that desert. Mm-hmm. But for like some Vegas, reason, I expect I expect Phoenix to be hell. So it's like a mental thing. Maybe that's me. what it was. Right. And so I expect hell on earth. Yeah. And so when it's like. All right, when this, it's a little better, y'all like, oh, yeah. this is great. Yeah. But like really, here, I don't expect that. So when it's hot, I just be annoyed. I just yeah. be like, yeah. God damn, yeah. man. Yeah. All right. Is yeah. it like that year round? <laughs> huh? Is no. it like that year round? No. Not quite. It's a desert. Yeah. yeah. No. 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 But in it's in the but, summer, right. they always get their work right. right. It Somebody, did get the hottest that I've ever been in my life. The hottest that I've ever experienced. 123. Oh, God. Where, Where was it? In Phoenix. Oh, damn. 123, though. That's, I mean, you can't even, like, you say it's hot when it's 105. Yeah, 123 is. 123, 123 is crazy. That's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. So there ain't no fixing that. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what it feels Whew. like. So, all right, maybe that felt like 118. Yeah. You know, which is still, <laughs> still like you That's can That's crazy yeah. hot. Yeah. Now, I know humid versus dry makes a difference, too. Oh, yeah. oh big yeah, difference. So, Huge. Like, like somebody just said, Vegas be feeling heavy. Right. Yeah. Like when Vegas, you're out, it just feels heavy. Man. Like Vegas be feeling mad. Phoenix didn't feel heavy. Yeah. All right. Ve- Vegas I can't feels hotter than Phoenix. playing sports yeah. out there. Man, <laughs> that would be crazy. Nah, but even if you go down in the deep south, though, the I deep, hate the, the south. The heat. deep south heat. Oh, oh I don't deep like south that at all. Crazy. I don't mind the south I don't heat. Like, like that. the south heat. What he, tell oh. me what south you talking about? Like yeah. Mississippi. Oh, no, that's, that's slave that's, heat. That's, yeah, that's, oh my, that's heavy nah, heat. Nah, man. I like that but you like sweating bit. though. Yeah. That's nah, your see, I hate it. Yeah. I hate being sweaty. Yeah. But sometimes, like if I go to a humid place and I'm just out there, it's got to be vacation vibes for me to be right. like, oh, yeah. I can do this. Mm-hmm. But like if I'm wearing regular clothes, just trying to maneuver, do yeah, yeah, our man. daily routine. Yeah, New Orleans, Orleans had me greasy, yeah. 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 New Orleans was mad hot. Yeah. I was like, ah. You know what time it is. Oh, yeah, you got the glasses? <laughs> oh, I think it might be on me, though. <laughs> but nah, here we yeah, go. No right. laugh. Is it on me or is it? <laughs> Wait, it might be on me. Whatever second. Let me see. Uh, what is it? Your boy. I don't know who's second. I thought it was. Uh, who Who got ghosts? Your boy. Okay. All right. And I'm going to just wiggle Cross along, along, Craig. <laughs> Take the glasses. Oh, <laughs> let me put these he was, back in the holster. Yeah, he, was, he, was he, ready. Along, he was ready. He was ready, <sighs> though. <laughs> We've been talking about heat, man. And if you struggle getting sleep, thank mm. God the summer might be winding. Summer, uh, struggle getting sleep, thank God, because summer might be winding down. Mm. But most of us still have at least a couple of months of hot nights left to endure. If you're tired of waking up overheated, now is the perfect time to invest in a cooling mattress. That's why Ghost Bed a family-owned company makes the most effective cooling mattresses on the market mm, okay. with signature cooling technology in every bed. Mm. They've been making these mattresses for over 20 years, so you can trust that they know what they're doing. Buying a mattress from their from them is stress-free with free shipping and a 101-night sleep trial. Oh, that's a lot. Ooh. And an industry-leading warranty. Plus, most orders ship within 24 hours, so you can be sleeping better in no time. For limited time now, you can use code ISSUES, issues. to get a whopping 40% <clears throat> off of your purchase site-wide. Head to ghostbed.com slash issues now to get started. Their sleep experts are standing by to help you find the perfect mattress. Keon, you use Ghostbed, no? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You like it, right? Hell yeah. Okay. Um, we had it. We got it. Uh, they delivered it, and then uh, we put it, you know, come like rolled up, and then when you open it, like flate. Oh, so inflates all the way up and everything. Yeah, we put it on there. I love it. Oh, yeah. Stop. And it really is cool. Like, I we neither one of us have a sweat. You know, sometimes you'd be waking up in that sweat. Mm-hmm. That's all I need to hear. It. That happened to me this weekend because we had, I had the uh, hotel room on uh, 
like 64. Okay. So I could get under the blanket and yeah. then I woke up in the middle of the night. Like, <laughs> like I, was, I was drenched in sweat. Could I had all the blankets up to my neck. I was like, this is a dumb idea. <laughs> like, you keep the room cold so you can put more blankets on just to sweat. That's yeah. stupid. That's my thing. You just keep one foot out the blanket. I was Good. drenched. <laughs> I can't. You know what I noticed about myself? I cannot sleep with socks on. And there's Neither. some people out there that can sleep with socks on. Yeah, I can Neither. sleep with socks on. You can? Yep. I cannot My sleep feet with socks gotta on. breathe. I yeah. can do socks. I can do without. Yeah. Whatever. For I guess me. it don't matter. But I will say, most of the time, when I do fall asleep with some socks on, I somehow wiggle my way out. They of coming the up out, yeah. They gonna be at the bottom of the bed yeah. where it's tucked in. <laughs> Probably got they six get, socks. They get lost. <laughs> they get lost. Yeah. Lost in the show. You, can now, you know, it's like because you can actually make your bed up and make it look good and yeah. not realize that you got three or four socks standing Stuck at the there, bottom. Right? So every yeah. time I change my sheets, I'd be like, "Oh shit, there <laughs> yeah, we go." <laughs> at the bottom of the fish no tank. socks. I can't do shirts either. I get tang. Like I get. Tang- I feel tangled. In yeah. Them. I was like, no shirts, no socks. I, well, I gotta wear a shirt. Yeah, I feel. Uh-huh. I, mean, I, I, I get like chest cold or something. I, I, I'm shirts, McGee. I'm yeah, shirts off. Feel, what you can? Yeah, yeah, I just feel off. like, like I don't know. I can't. Like if I roll over and it, t- I just be uncomfortable. Yeah, you do be getting dead arms if the t-shirt get too tight in the yeah, spot. Yeah, then you wake up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, take it off, I usually sleep with like sleeveless though. It's usually a tank top, tank some top. Sort. Your tank top don't. Yeah, it's rare that it's yeah. an actual shirt shirt. Yeah. Mm. I'll but, go shirt because sometimes I sweat when I sleep. Mm. So I would rather it, it, I would sweat to the shirt than to just be sweating bare, on the sheets, bare yeah, chest yeah. out there sweating. And it ain't nothing worse than <laughs> waking up that. with your with your, your your top sheet sweating. Oh, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> like, no, you got to move off. It's like yeah. I ain't fucking with this whole <laughs> nothing. <Right. laughs> that's that's you're in your own wet spot. Like yeah, oh. it's like I ain't do nothing but sleep. <laughs> this is nasty. Trash. I need a shirt. I throw my shirt and grab another one. But mm-hmm. you know, I've been. I fell asleep with the uh, AC on last night, and I'll be waking up because I always mean to tell myself like I'm gonna just let it cool up for just a second, and then <laughs> <laughs> wake up. It'd be cold. I'll be like, God. And I'll be looking for the phone, and the phone just be missing in action. I'll be like, Man, what's going on? When I, I do that, it's morning. almost a guaranteed cold for me. Like if I sleep with the AC on, yeah, uh, I'm oh, gonna you wake, wake up. up sick. Yeah, I yeah. wake up. I'm throat sore. Fans all the way up. Yeah. I be damn. Be I need hot. it cold. Yeah. yeah, I can't do it. I need it cold. Which, so here, here's since we all travel, what's your go to temperature in the room when mm. you get to your hotel room? Everybody got a different number, yeah. right? Sixty. Ooh. I do like. <laughs> what's wrong? I do like. <laughs> I do like sixty six, sixty seven. I'm 71. Yeah, I'm oh, 71. Y'all want it warm? Y'all want it warm? Why y'all, y'all want, want it warm? warm. Nah, yeah. that's cold. Uh, enough. That's good enough. Nah. <laughs> I, I'm respectful of they bills. Yeah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> right. nah. Yeah, I don't feel like I need a jacket. And that's another thing. Since you know, I don't turn mine up. So when I'm somewhere else, I'm like, yeah, yeah. acting up. <laughs> yeah, I snort the air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> turn it, turn it down. <laughs> turn it down. Yeah. I'm low hmm. 70s. I'll sure. be cold. I like it cold. I think. I don't. I definitely don't like it hot. I like it. I, I'm, I'm on a Keon sip. It's like a little cold when I'm when I'm when it because I can always mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Like yeah. And it, and, and it, it depends where I'm at too. Like if I'm in yeah, because some hotels don't have good blankets. Right. Be thin. You got to right. put the towel over the blanket yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Initially, I used to be in the 60s. Now I've been finding myself getting chilly. So then I go over there and turn it off. I'm like, oh, man, yeah. I go over there and turn it off. <laughs> you close this robe, and yeah, because he'd be like, man, it's a little chilly in here. It's nippy. <laughs> yeah, so I just turn it off for the night. Because your blood thins as you get older, right? That's why old people are always cold. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Or something oh, like that. They, like, know. what's the reason why old people are always cold? Like, have you seen that video where dude was like, every summer at my grandparents' house, and he's sitting there in the full sweat because they ain't got they didn't turn the heat up, and he's just smiling, but he's just like just That's drenching sweat. Yeah, I set my heat up. Like when if it's cold outside somewhere, yeah. I throw my heat on up. Like I might be a seventy five. Ooh, if, if it's cold, if it's if it's cold as shell outside, like yeah. you know, it's Ooh. we we visit some snow, oh, bro. Yeah. So oh, if man. it's snowing yeah. outside, I'm, yeah. I'm coming in, bro. Yeah. I'm I'm peeling off yeah. to a, a nice seventy five. <laughs> yeah. we, we can talk about the rest of that heat stuff yeah. later. Yeah. But I'm yeah. just, you know. Yeah, you you doing Cleveland in December, oh, bro? Oh, man. Nah, man. When yeah. I walk back in the room, I like my room set by the time I come back. I feel that. You know, 
I don't like, I don't want to have to wait for the adjust. The yeah, you want to be like I came from something to something better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So refuge. I try to do a preset before yeah. I leave for the show. Yeah. Whatever I think, it's like all right, tonight probably gonna be a little little cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dip, 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 dip. Yeah. So what y'all wait, wait, what did y'all go to? You said 60. I said about sixty, some sixty five. Sixty five. Yeah. I'm gonna go seventy. Seventy. Flat. Yeah. So about seventy one. Seventy one. Seventy one. Then yeah. on the heat side, I'm oh, seventy two. Okay, on the, so oh, on the heat one side. One one, this, on the heat side, I'm like seventy three. Yeah, I'm I'm up there. Seventy seventy five. He's seventy five. I max out. I max out until I figure out what I need to be at. You know what I mean? So yeah. if we can go up to eighty. I'm taking it there. Yeah, I get hot. This ass, I'm seventy two with the window open. Okay. Oh. I need to have fresh air in the room. It gets I like stuffy. fresh air, but I, I rarely mm-hmm. open the windows. I open the windows. A lot of my hotels on windows. We don't. A lot of times, like that. I don't well, even yeah. have the option. Yeah. On hotels, yeah. no. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hotels, right. there's no window. Right. Yeah. Oh, we talking about hotels or the house? Well, once you said window, I assume we switched the house. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I thought you were talking about hotels still. But some they just open like this much. Oh. They, you know, I, I, just keep con- I just try to keep it wherever I can have something constantly blowing. Because you can really tell the difference in a hotel when there ain't no air on or nothing. Oh, yeah. It, it stales out in that joint in about yeah. 30 yeah. minutes. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, what in the fuck? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it smells like a bunch of ADOs was having an orgy. Oh, you know, yeah. Cigarettes. You'd be like, God damn, maybe. Blue shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get hot. Cotty be pissed because everybody gets hot in the house. Kids get hot. I get hot. And she'd be like, it's cold in here. We'd be like, man, put some clothes on. Like, we, <laughs> Majority it's rules. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. hot. Kendrick be waking up sweaty. Can we turn it this hot? <laughs> See, so y'all go no shirt. That's different. See, yeah. I got all boys. And you know, I I don't know, I don't I don't I don't let everybody to, don't just walk around bare chested because you get a I comment, get, I, you I get, get commented <laughs> on when you walking around the house with your little, you know, my son's athletes, yeah, right. you walking around here with your little abs out, nigga, you Hell know yeah. what I mean? I get that, I get, I get that. Put on a tank top, something. What you doing here? So some ladies in the house, <laughs> you got company. Nigga. You put on something. Got the top of your draw showing and your abs. <laughs> We're just used to because we grew up in a house with all boys, and then I have all boys, so it's just like nobody be wearing shirts, like ever. Like my wife is the only one that be dressed in the house. Mm. Everybody else just and now now that Keelan's getting muscles and stuff from all the sports because he got his little abs he's going, torn, torn so he don't never want to have a shirt on. He'd be like, <laughs> "What do you do?" Yeah, I don't I'm do like, it. Not in my house. Put your shirt on, man. <laughs> <laughs> what you think this is? We grew up, I feel like my brother Scott was shirtless the most. I feel like my oldest brother always had a shirt on. And then I definitely had shirts on, man. I was, hell no. Even now, like, I, I, I just be shirts McGee. Do you think that's from being younger? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like being fat yeah. back in the day, getting roasted for that. Yeah, you like shirts, <laughs> <laughs> shirts, and skins. So you can be, you can get a bodybuilder body, and you still rocking shirts. Probably because that's what, what I'm just used yeah. to. Yeah, and I'm just used to just tank tops. Okay, like you know, like if I'm doing something, if I'm getting dressed, or I'm, if I'm cutting my hair or shaving or shaving anything, I'll be shirtless for a while walking around. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll just be like, all right, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll go check the mail. No shirt on. Oh, you, oh, you taking it outside. outside? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not like I'm like, ah. <laughs> but it's just what I'm used to is a shirt. Okay. Wait, how far is the mailbox from the from the house? Like right, in, I mean, on the sidewalk. Yeah, it's like a go down the driveway and oh, that's then a good right distance, there. shirtless. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, outside. People can see that. Yeah, that's a good. Distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not that I'll be hiding. It's just <laughs> right. So are you stuff. are you mostly no shirts? I'm mostly no shirt around the house, shirtless. Yeah, you think that's from sports? Be uh, just like just, I, like he's saying out of habit. At home, I just feel I gotta feel free. Cause I, I when he said out of habit, I just thought about it. Like, you but if, if it's, up, say if I'm just say if it's like if if we all together, I'm not gonna. No, do I'm that. not gonna do yeah. that. It's people, right? But it's just company. Dolo, but just, yeah, just a family I'm, though. Yeah, right. I used, I used to walk around shirtless till my son got buff and started smacking me on the stomach, being like, come on, Pops. And I'd be like, oh, It definitely okay. changes when you get kids. Shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Look at, well, my kids, when I'm with Avi and they, nah, hey, nah. Um, they, yeah. be, they, they, be, they be like, ugh. They make comments. Baker like, boys right. be like, 
<laughs> hey man, look at <laughs> put my little shirt back on. Cause they was out here just you know no love handles, just in oh, shape for no reason. For you. So I'm just like man, let me put my shirt back on. God damn it! Here's, here's my shirt issue. My shirt issue is this. I y'all talking about how much y'all sweat and all that other shit? Yeah. I don't need you on my couch, man. I feel that 100. Get off my, get your off my back. Get off my yeah. couch. Yeah, yeah. get your back. Especially a leather couch, you definitely putting oh, sweaty yeah. back. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can't go shirtless on a leather yeah, couch. Yeah, man. Even, but even uh, if it's a, a suede, it's going to absorb the sweat. I don't want your sweat in, you know, all in my yeah. stuff. In and I got in. boys, they be on took a nap. Now you laying down with yeah. your, you know, deodorant, you know, deodorant <laughs> and shit <laughs> right around on my couch, bro. Get on with that, man. I just bought that. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, my son used to get in the car after practice and take his shirt off and just lean back. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Uh, <laughs> it don't no. smell what? like sweating in for that. three days. You yeah. don't bring the, the, the spare? You got to bring the spare. He just be feeling himself sometimes. Uh, yeah, I don't want to sweat my other shirt up. That's what you brought it that's for. That's why you bring yeah, the other one. Yeah, you take the sweaty one off and put the dry one the on. Dry get in the one car. On. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mess around and get sick. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? If the, I think it, I if the like weather changes, I think it's a myth too. That's a thing for sure. When them pores is open after yeah. split, say when you yeah, when them yeah, pores is open, yeah. yeah, when them pores is open, when you come out there sweating from hoop yeah. or anything, you, you go right into the cold. Yeah. yeah. Then why can't you jump into an ice bath? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Well, to be honest, when I used to get out of the ice bath, I would sneeze. I would be sneezing like hella. But you wouldn't catch a cold. You just no. Nah, I don't think I would. You just sneeze and yeah. go on about your day. Mm-hmm. But I think ice. Most ice baths would still be inside. You see what I'm saying? When you go outside, that outside weather because it's them. all about temperature change. Yeah, when you yeah. Get out. it's, it's so temperature. So you get the ice yeah. bath, yeah, then you know. come out with a drastic temperature change, even from within. That's the theory of why you get sick. Yeah, so you say don't go outside with your head wet. That's how you get. Oh sick. yeah, I've been here that there too. Mm-hmm. I'll be, like, oh, yeah. I'll be good. I, that one don't affect me. I'm Gucci with that one. <laughs> so maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> you you, know you <laughs> lose ninety percent of the heat from your body from the top. Of your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it might be. Cause I did. I definitely did. I know ice shirt. Bath. I know shirt or or wet. Even worse when the when the shirt is wet and I walk outside, I'm catching that cold within the next two days. So, I mean, see, that thing I didn't catch a cold. So. Uh-huh. I just didn't like the wetness in the car. Like, so and that's my why I mama had my shirt. immune system weak or something. Because I, <laughs> yeah, you ain't drink out the whole. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get strong enough or something yeah. growing up. Let me take care of this last one. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Football is back in full swing with <laughs> yeah, another yeah. week of epic games. And who's got you covered on the action for every single one of them? DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sportsbook betting partner of the NFL. Mm-hmm. New customers can bet $5 on football and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Nobody's missing out on the action this season after DraftKings customers could take advantage of two new offers every game this summer. This September. Every game this September. Uh, Get into the NFL week two action with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now and use code ISSUES to sign up. New customers can just bet $5 and take home $200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code issues. issues. The crown is yours. The yeah, and I had to say my Giants got smacked. Oh man, uh, yeah. 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 Fast, on you know. national TV. Uh, yeah. But I still represent At night it. Too. You did rep. Hey, yeah, let I me get this disclaimer out. I respect it. Main uh, event if game. you have a gambling problem, call one eight hundred Gambler or visit www dot one eight hundred Gambler dot net. In New York, call eight seven seven eight Hope N Y or text Hope N Y. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. See sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms for eligibility terms and responsible gaming, gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility, eligibility nope. and deposit restrictions apply. You didn't do that to him when he, he had a couple. He had a couple up. fumbles. I get the O. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I missed the DC George. He had a couple. I was smooth I'm sorry on for the throwing fumble. you under the uh, <laughs> I started off with a fumble. Like, oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, oh my. My, my Giants got destroyed. Man. It was the rain. Yeah, but we don't. Were we the only team clean, that didn't though. score first week? I, I don't know. I still represent. Bears lost too, so yeah. I feel you. They got smacked too. Uh, Ravens. 
Raiders played over. bad and won. No, yeah. Raiders. Yeah. No, I said no, the Raiders How did old boy too. look? The one that was causing all that racket. Man, you got to do way better. Lamar, than that. Yeah. Yeah. all the quarterbacks was yeah. No, all, all, most quarterbacks play like shit. Yeah, but no, I'm talking about how do you do? You mean, he, he was good. You mean former uh, NFL MVP Lamar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lamar Jackson. Uh, <laughs> he didn't do well. He, did, either. he didn't. He didn't. Burrow do great, played terrible. Oh, he didn't um, do great. Most, most all the quarterbacks. Yeah. They don't play in preseason no more. So most no. of them. Was Dak trash. needs to play in the rain all the time. Yeah. Yeah, Tua looked great. He killed. He looked great. Niners quarterback looked great. Yeah. And then fuck out of here. <laughs> and then uh, I don't know. That's about it. Purdy, yeah, that's baby. about it. That was about yeah, it. Fuck sports. Hey. <laughs> Sick All right, I, I got a side question. Maybe y'all can help me out. Go ahead. Okay. Right. This is what we going through at the Phillips House right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a dog for sixteen years. Oh. Sixteen. That's a family. That's chunk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So after sixteen years. Um, she passed away maybe three, four weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Sorry to hear that, bro. Appreciate it. Um, now, I was always in the camp of if we're going to have a dog, y'all going to have to put the work in. I travel a lot. Y'all going to have to put the work in. Let's mm-hmm. get it done. It, it fell through. You know, <laughs> I ended up having to do a oh. lot of the major duties for the dog. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm a smell guy. So if we're going to have a dog, I need to make sure that the inside of the house is clean so yeah. it don't smell like hot piss in the living room right. at all times. Right. That's, right. that's the thing with me. I, I'm a candle dude on the road. I need I need yeah. my room to smell nice. I'll be yeah. candles on the my road. Me too. Yeah. So <laughs> when I come home after candles in, the, in in a nice hotel and it smell like hot piss in the living room, it doesn't feel good when right. I come home. Uh-huh. So we just got over this dog and now they are all in with trying to go get another one oh, ASAP. It's no like, none. we ain't even got them in the ground. Like, is, mm, shouldn't there dog. be a grace period of time after you lost a pet in order to replace the pet? Is Am I tripping or... I, I literally would brought that up. I literally just received a message, and this is a side tactic. One of, one of my wife's friends that I never talked to on the phone or don't have her number or nothing, nowhere, uh, just text me out the blue saying, hey, I want to surprise... Your wife and get her a new dog. Oh, uh, oh it sounds like a setup. Now I gotta like be the asshole setup, Jay, to my family <laughs> and this lady that I don't even yeah. know. Yeah. I'm cool with doing it though, <laughs> but I'm just saying, is there a grace period that I can literally like try to figure out what 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 is y'all situation with the pets? I mean, we had our well, they were never my dogs. My wife's dog just died about three weeks ago. Condolences. And and I told them, I told them from jump though, when all these pets go, we're done. Cause I'm a smell guy. I am a house clean guy. I'm very, I don't like, so I never was a fan of the pets. Right. Never. Right. And so when he, I was, when he passed, I was like, that's, that's it. Y'all know that, right? We're not getting no more. And the responsibility, of, like I said, I travel a lot. And I'm like, no, we're not. We already didn't got the chickens. We already got, even though they had live outside, she didn't, lock, two turtles didn't die. Fish. I'm like, first of all, y'all can't even keep these pets alive. Second, but the you dogs got a pet was cemetery going on. <laughs> the dogs was old though. The dogs was 19, so really? 18, 19. So then the second one is holding on, and when she go, that's we're never getting another dog. I'm like, that's that's it. Here's the thing with dogs, especially dogs, they take a lot of energy. A, they do. Like a, mm-hmm. it's like a, a, having another kid. It is. When you leave the house, they want to leave the house. Yep. When you come home, they want to be like you. Know, they want to go everywhere you go. So I understand like taking time to think about not getting another dog. Especially if you took care of the first one. Right. I know what's gonna happen. That's my main thing. Yeah. 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 They didn't hold up their end of the bar. Right. right? And so now it's like I'm up here shampooing the carpet every week. Yeah. 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 It's too prompt. Yeah. Because it's like, all right, you got played. You ended up take doing the lion's share of taking care of that dog for sixteen years. So you should be able to get a grace period. Right. Yeah, this is that like, grace I period put the work last in, 50 years, you know, so what? And the grace period, you know, that I guess it's an individual based on how long the grace period should be when you get another pet. And that's the thing about pets, man. You can replace them. Well, this yeah. is what my step pop said when we tried to replace his dog after it passed. He was like, there was like a family member 
Mm-hmm. If a family member passes, you can't just put another family member there and be like, right. "Go ahead, you're right. good again." Yeah, right. it's like, nah, no, there's no replacement. Some healing needs to happen. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Plus, so in your case, soon. them kids gonna be out the house, and you stuck with that dog. Exactly. They about to the leave. The main son. dude, the, the dog stays in my older son's room. Um, you know, he that's what he wanted. All right, cool. He's in there, but now you 25, bro. Yeah. He he in there. Str- I might not see him for three days. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the dog is and there. Right. The dog in the room chilling. I'm like yeah, well, that's on me. That's on us to make sure that he gets you out. You gotta take him out. Walk- yeah. yeah. Now nah. I'm now I'm leaving from somewhere to come back because I know that he ain't coming back. Right. You know. So yeah. it's like to let the dog out. Nah. <sighs> that's tough. I man. feel like my I'm mom's a, grace period now. be short, man. Cause she be rotating some cats and dogs. It's like it's always a new cat in the rotation. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she then went through. <laughs> Man, they be they be around for a long time, but then it'd be more cats coming in. She got straight outside or inside too. Or she just be having straight inside, inside cats, yeah, okay. and then she be having dogs out back. Okay, so but it's like it's a it's a constant flow of like you know cats coming through. So her grace period might be shorter. And also, or and she, she usually doubles up, so it's usually like more than one cat. So if one passes away, then the other one's there, then a new one will come in, and then the oldest, the older one will pass away. So it's just always, yeah, one it's or always two. like a, a <laughs> yeah. nice cycle of cats up on the premises. And what if the dog doesn't have the same personality? It's like now I got this little hyper dog that I'm like, ah, I yeah. didn't necessarily want this. Dogs are a lot, man. Yeah, I'll be one one, but I'll be like, nah. Cause I'll be wow. gone. I'll be gone. All pets yeah, are alive, yeah. That's bro. the thing. It's I'll like I don't gone. feel like that's fair. It's like no, now it's I'm, not. you know, what happens when I'm gone? Mm-hmm. You know, and it got to be the point with this, la- you know, with my last pet. I'd leave, and when I come back, she'd be, oh hey, now she's. 13, 14 years old in dog <laughs> years. You know, whoever yeah. knows what that is, I yeah. come back. It's just like. So oh, yeah. you know, and just go back it's like this. <laughs> used to meet this, you at the door. Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can't get over there now. No, it's like now. It's like, I thought I heard you in there. <laughs> <laughs> you back? Yeah, I thought I heard yeah, you. What's up, man? <laughs> Old ass dog. Man, I'm about to do the math on that. Do one. you have one of those uh, cat feeders 91. that you could look inside mm-hmm. and see what they're doing in the house, and then like throw it a treat or something? I have uh I bought this cat feeder that I haven't even used yet. It's been sitting in the living room. I gotta hook that up. It's got like an automatic dispenser type situation. Yeah. We used to have a camera in the kitchen at the old apartment to see what midnight was up to. Um but yeah, I just gotta hook it up. I haven't yet. But y'all got ring cameras? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't but even I need, know how to hook it up though. I need cameras. I got, I just got one. I need to set it up though. Sabrina had Jeez. it all yeah. set up yeah. on her end. Okay, but I, I never put it on mine. I got to, I got to put transfer. I mean, I don't have a ring like the brand, but I have cameras. Okay, oh, this okay. guy's saving money. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> well, like, it came with our other stuff. So I have front yard, backyard, and then I'm gonna get some inside the house. Okay, I'm addicted to them. I don't like them because I'm addicted. I now know what's going on at the house all the time, and I don't be wanting to know. I don't. Like, who, who, who the hell is over here now? Are you, like, I can see everything. Why are y'all still like? I don't want to. When I'm on the road, I, I want to be able to not. Have to parent or mm. spouse anymore, right. and with these cameras, I'm st- I feel like I'm still in the mix, and I don't want to be. So <laughs> oh, I just be it's, so I be texting like, what, what what time did the kids y'all got in at nine? <laughs> the kids got school. Like I'm like I want to escape, but I can see everything. <laughs> but and you, I'm like, you still got a dad, turn yeah. It, and turn it on. Damn. But I it's like I don't tr- I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't trust it. Well, then, well, then there you go. <laughs> but I don't want to feel like that. <laughs> just turn it off. <laughs> hey man, I get an alert every once in a while. I'm like, oh, he in the backyard hooping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that, man. I'm on the road. I can actually turn the camera on and watch him hoop. And if you miss some shot, I just be like, trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, where he at? Hey, what's up, man? I think that's dope. Guy man. said, I'm, I'm trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you got it. We can talk where they can. Yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah. Ring, oh, you know? yeah. yeah, you can talk in the ring. One time, Sabrina scared the shit out of me one night. I was, <laughs> I was in the front, and she was just like, I was doing something. I was cleaning, busting down one of them Black Widow webs, whatever. She's like, all right, Spider-Man. I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> going on here, show. I, I like all that. I just don't like the, you get other alerts from other neighbors and stuff. Mm. Like, oh, someone's stealing packages. Somebody, uh, That's dog good, though, is right? loose. Yeah. That's a good, it's, a good it's look It's just constant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I went uh, with I, I didn't go with Ness. I mean with a uh, ring either. I went yeah. with the Ness. I'm I'm a Ness guy. Oh, yeah. oh Ness does the uh, Yeah, the, I mean that's, that's Google. Why I got for the thermostat. That goes th- right. That's what I'm saying. It's a package deal. Oh. You wear K yeah, Swiss too. Mine is all the Ness. 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 Well, the Adoras today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I like it. Dude. Yeah, I might just. Uh, that's a very New York away. DC shoe. You it might is. have a free camera sitting if that you already got the me. setup mm-hmm. for the other joint. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because when when uh, when Willie came in to put in the new AC unit and stuff, it was Ness. So I just been using it for the thermostat. Oh yeah, they probably got a camera. Willie, oh, the do. the maintenance man. Uh, he owns the house. Oh okay. Yeah. Willie sounds like somebody Willie, come and yeah. fix everything. Yeah. Willie Call Wong, Willie. Man. Now what yeah. you do is you got to put up over there on the corner in there. <laughs> Willie Wong. Yeah, oh, every God. Willie should be able to fix something. <laughs> Willie be coming through, yeah, man. Yeah. Whenever there's something wrong with the house, he come through quick. Matter of fact, I think I I, I went all in. Here's here's what I do sometimes. Like when I started Nest, mm. I'm like, give me the whole system. Yeah. You know, so I got. Fucking the 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 flood cam mm. and the, and a, another light and an inside joint and once I hooked up the thing I was like I didn't like them no more I went with a different brand for the rest of the house oh oh you didn't like Nest or the uh... yeah the, it it was it was I didn't like it as much as I is the because I wanted the alarm system too and they didn't mm. have the alarm okay. mm. with their with their joint so I went with a company that got the alarms too. But I, that means I still got the Nest stuff sitting around. Gotcha. Right. So if you if you plan on Googling, let me know. I'll okay. You, little, you got the Nest outdoor, already set little up. outdoor floodgate. Uh. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get the outdoor flood. That, that's that's the that's the bomb light right there. Yeah. They got some questions up in the chat for What they got? Hold on. Let me what they out? What they time out? Y'all Tanya go. R asks, "What assumption about yourself?" Uh, what are some assumptions about yourself that fans get wrong all the time? I don't know. They'd have to tell me what the. I guess. I, I guess mine is, and it's probably probably my fault, is the whole uh, quiet dude thing. Like everybody mm-hmm. think I'm really quiet. It's like y'all all know me. Like I'm yeah. I'm quiet when I'm out in public. I like right. watching stuff, but. When we get around, ain't nothing, yeah. ain't nothing quiet about me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> <It's all there. laughs> ain't nothing quiet about me. I'm, I go hard sometimes. So I think that's the biggest thing that fans get. They be like, you know how it is when you, when you, when you're shy. I'm like, nah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I talk to thousands of strangers a night, fam. That yeah. ain't shy. <laughs> that's funny, bro. <laughs> yeah. Be, yeah, the introverts be coming at me. Hey, <laughs> we, we are life. Come in no, this we're corner, not, weirdo. Get out of here. <laughs> Come in this corner, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> come in this corner, Jay. It's safe over here. Yeah, come sit with us. Yeah. Watch us play chess. If you don't fuck off. <laughs> Watch us play chess. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> <weirdo>. <laughs> um, hmm. oh, you know what? People, I think somebody just told me this in Phoenix. They think I'm going to talk in real life how I talk online. I'm what do like, you mean? Like real, like, you know, if I make a video online, I'm going to be very... But you know, in the shot, in the, in the shows, I'm, I'm, I'm very like, "Hey, how's it going?" Like, they, 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 I'm just gonna randomly be like, "What the hell you want?" Like, and I'm like, "No, like, that's okay. I'm mm-hmm. putting emphasis in my videos for you know, cause right. I'm just having fun." But no, in line, it's super. Thanks for coming. You know, yeah. So I had a lady tell me she was like, "I was a little afraid to come to the table." I was like, "Why?" She's like, "Well, because how you talk online." I'm like, "That's mm-hmm. not, that's not real." Oh wow. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm gonna be super pleasant. In yeah, this. like I'm making a video for. Emphasis, yeah. you know, like to make it like that would be that would yeah. be weird to talk to you like that, right? And you a stranger. You know, people always think I'm partying, but ninety eight percent of the time I'm just sitting in the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody always think I'm out doing. I'd be like, thinking you'd be partying. Me too. I'd be in the I house. Think, I think you live the greatest life. Yeah. Oh, I live a great life. Yeah. When in that two percent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always thinking Greg is partying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you Facetime me. I'll be right there, either in the garage or on the couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm a garage guy. I'm a garage guy. When it's time, though. I can't smoke in the house. I'm a garage guy. That's right. I got my whole smoke set up in the garage. Smoking studio. I got smoke in the gym. Okay. But it's a hard question to answer because, like, CC people are like, I didn't get that from you. I don't know what people would expect. So... I couldn't. I, I don't know. (laughs) DC really had his Bible on his person. And they go, oh, hilarious. I did. 
That so, is which, uh, yeah, uh, Web, hilarious. I really, uh, Somebody said in D- Starlet, San Diego, he really had Yeah, his Bible. she was uh-huh. like, when she came to he San really Diego. Was, had his Bible. Yeah, y'all oh, owe oh. me an apology. Where Chad was here. everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, not now. You, you no, showed I really it had up. it with me. No. Uh, you just you had it in your hand. At the club? No, what happened was in, in my backpack. Oh, okay. I hit it in my backpack. And it accidentally fell out? No, she asked us. She was like, I was on, I was selling shirts. And she was like, yeah, DC. Yeah, prove that you always carry your Bible with you. Oh, and I was like, prove it. oh, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> and I just had my, she was like, oh my gosh, you really do. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was like, I try to tell y'all, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. All right. Y'all owe me an apology. We were surprised that he always had his Bible with him. I'm when surprised he right now. I'm <laughs> I don't believe him. Yeah, no, <laughs> I promise. None of us it was we were. Nobody like the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe We was that. like, wait, what? Uh huh. And I didn't have. I just so happened to because we, me and Chad, didn't want to keep our stuff in the car. Yeah. So we was like, let's bring our stuff in the green room or whatever. Because yeah. yeah. I've been on the road with DC a lot. Mm-hmm. Never seen that Bible. Yeah. But I wasn't like I wasn't like as hard yeah. on him as Chad was. But mm-hmm. I was just like, oh, I never even realized. I was like, but I this never... is where I went. The question was this that day: if you if you taking something with you, like if you it's an emergency or something in your house, what are you grabbing? <clears throat> What's the one item you grabbing yeah. out? And I was like, I'm gonna grab my Bible. And Chad was like, I ain't never seen you <laughs> read your Bible. I just so. I got a I got a Bible question for you. No, don't give me no. I ain't, I ain't <laughs> yeah, so, so, this, so how how it went yeah. south was because yeah. when he said that we were all like we never seen it. So then we started we was like well give us your favorite verse and he couldn't. But I know one. I didn't present. Hey y'all, I'm TD Jakes. I <laughs> no, I'm right. just, I this, grabbed my this, Bible. Yeah. This ain't got nothing to do with the information inside yeah. the Bible. This okay. is just the general Bible question. Okay, is this Bible? Like a family Bible or a Bible as a gift, or yeah, is gift this from one my dad. that you went and bought one? Okay. No, it's a gift from my dad. So all once right. he said that, we was like, all right. So, uh, so, all right. Yeah. Now it's it makes more yeah. Sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, got you. All right. So yeah, but I, it ain't one that you be like, yo, I forgot my Bible. Let me run to the barns and know. Nah. Like, <laughs> 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 I just picked up a, a red one. That goes, <laughs> 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 go, <laughs> go with my sneakers. So it caught us off guard when he first said it because he was like, yeah. what? And then when he said, my dad, we was like, oh. Yeah, I get it now. But before they gave me a chance, but before I ain't going to say then, before I Got a chance to say that Chaz was like, "Oh, oh yeah. you not grabbing your Bible?" <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Bro, I take my Bible two, four, everywhere." Yeah. And she just so happened to catch it. She was like, yeah. "Oh, yeah, this Bible." Well, with you him. do be having your Bible. I do. DC is, is on the legit. Mm-hmm. Is there any the... assumptions? I can't think of none, bro. I don't think we can answer that. I, I don't think, think we know them. I don't know how. I mean, yeah. I'm. Yeah. My I don't know what so people think. Yeah, I don't know what they. Yeah. So whatever, whatever that's, y'all. That's the, mine was just a pet peeve. Thing. Right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna get this yeah, out. I'm, I'm sick of that. It's hard for me to say. Yeah. I, I can't answer what they. That's that's tough. Mine I probably right get. Now. I probably get when I'm out on the road that I'm less. They they, they be thinking I'm more talkative. Mm-hmm. They be like, we thought you was more talk, but I'm you know like I'm more probably shy in public or reserved. I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I get plenty of DMs. So where the party at? What you doing tonight? <laughs> Sometimes I lie and make up. It's something I'm doing. I'd I'd be definitely be thinking Craig be party. Party McGee. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Let me find another quail stray. Uh Tanisha Turner asks, what's the one question you wish people would ask you about, but you never get asked? Mm. I don't have a question that I yeah. wish y'all would ask. Uh, there is a question that gets weird to me mm-hmm. because one? not one in particular, but just in general, like with social media, I feel like people get a look into your life between social media and stand up. Mm-hmm. I do stand up about my family, my, about my sons and stuff. I talk about my sons a lot. So it's weird when somebody I've never met before be like, so how you how you kids? Mm. 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 <laughs> like, yeah, they good. <laughs> you forget yeah. that. You- yeah. yeah, why you what you know about my boy? You know what I mean? Everything you told. Yeah. Right. You yeah. talked about him for 45 minutes. Yeah. All right, you got it. All yeah. right. <laughs> you gotta soften up, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We do a fan, yeah. huh? Yeah. We we be insulted because we gave him all the info. Yeah, right. 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 And then they be like, it is different in public. Though, when it's they weird, acting right I, your yeah, face. I, the internet just don't seem like a real place. So then, or the stage, yeah. I'm just talking. Like, but then, yeah, you gave them mm-hmm. all that, all the info. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. Somebody at my kid's school recognized me. He worked at the school. He was like, "I'm a fan, bro," and I was like, 
I didn't know how to feel about it. Because mm-hmm. it was just like, you see my kids every day. So on one hand, I was like, he could be a weirdo. But on the other hand, I he was like, well, perks. I was like, look out, then look, look out for mm-hmm. mine. You know what I'm saying? And like, he's like, nah, open, night, open house the other night, yeah. too. Like, hey, mind the quiet, dude. Hey babe, we watch a video. Was it another was it another parent or was it? Yeah, a, it was a parent. Oh, another parent. It was a parent. Yeah, I was like, all right. The parents, I don't mind, but the the staff. fact that he worked there, I yeah. was just like, I didn't know how to feel about it. And then I was just like, well, you know, keep an eye out, I guess. Like, you know, look out for him. Yeah, I didn't know what to. The only time I would feel a certain way at all is if it's a medical thing. I remember I had my ear doctor was like, yo, I'm a fan. I was like, oh, oh, shit. So it's like, especially if, you know, if it's a doctor that gets extremely personal with you and it's like, oh. Do you think they should still supposed to act like they don't know you? Hmm. It does it doesn't really for me, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Like if I if I was a doctor or any type of medical person and I had a patient and I knew who they were, I was a fan of them, I don't think I would tell them. Yeah, nah. I don't think I would. That's what I'm saying. That. I would keep it on the low. I would keep it on the tuck. But uh, but them telling me, I don't I don't mind it either way. And then it's weird if I'm doing customer service on the phone and they know who I am. Mm. You got that. That's voice happened too, to me yeah. several yeah. times. They yeah. just be like, man, I just gave you all my personal yeah. information. Oh, on I feel that. I ain't think I ain't think about that, <laughs> yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they be like, big fan, by the way. I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah, right so, after you yeah. cut yeah. my phone yeah. on. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. What's your social again? You yeah. like yeah. six, three, yeah. four. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna call you. I got your I number right here on the sheet, bro. man. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only time yeah. I feel like they got Addy. Every, they got a lot of say. Look at your personal you pictures. Know, yeah. You know, I'm setting up my health insurance stuff, and they like big fan by the way. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, see that okay. makes sense. Like, yeah. the thing that that's my kid's school. Like they, yeah, they got access to them to information. I'm yeah. just like. <sighs> That wouldn't bother me though, because it's like uh, my kids are little though. That's why it's it's just it's it's part of yeah. It's just part of what we signed up for. So you know, people that work everywhere are gonna be like, because mm-hmm. everybody's on their phone. So mm-hmm. it's like, yeah. so then it's just it's just a matter. of, Oh, okay, uh, look out for the boys or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was a, he seemed like a nice guy, yeah. a cool dude, brother. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was like, what's up, guy? You know what I mean? Right. And he was he. I mean, he said he was you to hear a kid. Mm-hmm. Like he said he was a fan of you know. Yeah. Um, and he seemed super cool. So I asked my kids who he was, and they was like, "Oh, he runs the." He just got hired, Dad. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Jenner. <laughs> we just seen him. Yeah. Today. They said he runs the. Um, you know how some kids can't get picked up right away, so they like mm-hmm. hold and they play games. So he at runs school. the program. Oh, okay. At, so I was like, all right, all right. I was like, all right, bit. And it was like, yeah, he, he, you know, he, he runs the, you know, he holds the flag football games and mm. stuff like that. And he, you know, I was like, all right. If you ever need a yeah. ride home. Yeah, I was like, well, I was like, you let me know. If, uh, <laughs> you let me know. I, yeah, I actually, ride right past your house. I saw it over there on the, on the ground. <laughs> but it's another, it's a couple parents that I recognize, but I don't ever say nothing. Like it's one dude that go to school. He played for the Raiders. Uh-huh. You know, I'm a Raider fan. I know, so I know who he is. Right. But I, I ain't said nothing. You know, he's just dropping his kids off, picking them up. But I'm like, I know who you are. Because yeah, you, you can weird. tell when people don't want to be known. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let me just, My know. son played travel ball, uh, 12. So it's like that range of people in, in our little area here. It, it gets crazy. Yeah. So it's like I like I just found out uh, somebody, I don't know if it's his kid or what, but uh, Reggie Bush was at the game cheering for the people on one of our other age group yeah. teams and mm-hmm. I was just like and I'm looking at him the I was like I I know you but he's yeah. in a way that he was you could tell when somebody's trying to be chill yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying yeah. like this dude rich he got great skin he's in shape <laughs> he's tall I can't I can't put my finger on maybe yeah. he's just the handsome you know yeah. dude that got his stuff together got a model looking wife yeah. his son got on you know uh, out there in the new Giannis's yeah. or, you know yeah. just whatever so it's like something Crazy with the dude, and then right. when he walked, you know, walked by later, they was like, "That's Reggie Bush." And I was like, "Oh, oh, yeah, it I makes play, sense." I, yeah. I, 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 I played I play, I play golf with bo- old yeah. boys. Like, I know I'm supposed to know you. Right. Like, we supposed right. to have connected, but yeah. it's like, eh, yeah. maybe not. Yeah, the parent. That's the weirdest part. People, I tell people all the time, parenting is probably the most networking I do in LA. You yeah. go to these birthday parties, you see somebody, kid, yeah. or whatever. It's like mm-hmm. I always run, but I'm always like, I'm not gonna bother you. If we talking and right. work come up, fine. Right. But other than that, if I see you at the school or at one of the games or whatever, I'm like, 
I'm gonna have a new baby just for that, so I can get invited to some of these <laughs> parties. You know what I get a lot? I don't like that people come and ask me a bunch of questions, but not about me. They oh, want to know no. where Keenan at, what's yeah. Sean up to. Well, I'm like, man, this ain't the personal line to them. Yeah, what right. you got, what that makes I, I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. that would be annoying. Yeah. Where's Sean? <laughs> I don't no, know. Yeah. <laughs> but I get, I get why they do that, though. Yeah. I get why they do that. I mean, legendary, you know? They go online you the and say, where to... you at? <laughs> go online. IG, why? IG I got a win. I got a wins right here. <laughs> What's he doing right now? <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Wait, I'm going to call, call my brother. <laughs> FaceTime him. <laughs> FaceTime him right now. I remember we was in Sacramento when I first met y'all. And uh, some dude stopped you in the little outdoor mall. He was like, ain't you one of them? You one of them? You one of them? Look, look, look! Who your daddy? Keenan? Nah. You one of you one of them? Which one? <laughs> but Craig, we were just walking, and he just could tell by Craig's face. You know, they look like he was like you one of you one of them. You one of them, ain't you? Oh, yeah, them. we did go to that mall out there. Mm-hmm. It's gross. Yeah, yuck. Do we all answer the question? Nah, no, because we didn't have we didn't have oh, no one had none. Is there another one we? Can I wish my dad would ask me how I'm doing. Not to get then all looking deep. Looking into the camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not to get all deep, but uh, <laughs> took a turn. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> wow. Almost came, gave you a hug. Told you yeah. that. Other than that, like it's not a real, a real question. <laughs> like, I wish somebody would ask me. <laughs> <laughs> the but turn yeah. the camera. Was like, wow. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> wow. That's the only question where it's just like, <laughs> ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Sucked all the humor out my soul because <laughs> he meant it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the meant only question that. that's, that's pressing for me. <laughs> it's like he would have took his hat off and clutched his hat against his chest. <laughs> I wish that my dad <laughs> would ask me how I was doing sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he goes, he goes DC his looked head. down. I do. <laughs> Jay, Jay was quiet. DC said, "This <laughs> <laughs> came out of nowhere." Yeah. I felt bad for laughing. I was like, ah! I mean, oh. yeah, that's, that's, but that's the only question. Uh, well, like, man, ask <laughs> me. Everybody's like, "No, I got nothing. I got yeah, nothing." He ain't said nothing the whole time. You know what? Uh, you know who I would do but, I wish that would <laughs> Gotta give him something. We was out too. He was like, no, everybody back in here. (laughs) We answered the question. I'm like, no. (laughs) But yeah, other than that though. (laughs) Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, shit, how about them Yankees? Uh, <laughs> some Yankees throw sports out there. Giants this. lost. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. Nana, we talked Nana, about that already. Yeah. Yeah. Nana P got a question. So if you look back at your relationships with your kids, do you have any moments or scenarios that you should or wish you could say sorry for or redo with better knowledge? Mm. Hell yeah. For me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who who don't? I, you know, go ahead. yeah, but a lot of times I get when they get a certain age, they apologize to me for not understanding that I was a little kid with kids. Mm. I wasn't full grown trying to teach them how to be adults. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. I think mine is perception more than anything else. Um, whereas, like I, you know, we, you know how this road is, mm-hmm. you know. I'm back first flight I can Mondays to make sure that I'm there Monday through Thursday till mm-hmm. I got to bounce out again. Mm-hmm. And that's a hefty part of the week. You know, if we got a game or something going on, I won't take a show. I'll make sure mm-hmm. that I, I'm in town for big games. I don't miss birthdays. I don't mm-hmm. miss holidays. I don't, yeah. You know, and those are those are all <clears throat> working days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those, for those, sure. Those, you know, that's me you turning the money down. on the table. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I'm that's I'm left four grand on the, on the bench right. so I can come to the game and hang out for you, and and the perception of, you know, he's always gone. Mm-hmm. That that sticks me sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I wish I could change the perspective to match the effort that I've put in to make sure that I never miss those. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. What we do, we miss. You just naturally got to miss. You gonna miss some days, holidays, birthdays. You are gonna have to. But damn. But that's 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 what sucks about our profession because if you worked at a law firm or if you worked at a hospital or whatever, you would just be gone. Military. You'd be at work because mm-hmm. you're gonna work holidays, yep. you're gonna work weekends, you're gonna do all of this stuff, so you're gonna miss the games. And people be like, "Oh, they at work." But for us, why is it frowned? Like, why does it seem like it's more frowned upon for us? 
I don't know because if it is, though. they look at it like we can we can make our own schedules. And it's like y'all having fun. It looks yeah, fun. it look fun. Yeah. So it looked like we just out living life. I was like, no, this is this is the job. It still work. Yeah. I have to change their, the way they say it sometimes. Like you know, my wife, I, I do this with her all the time. She'd be like, "You get to go here." And I said, "No, I got to go." Right. Yeah. It's not get. I got to go. Yeah. Don't don't you you talking about it all sweet when I'm in Miami and in Dallas and Houston, but when I'm in Des Moines, yeah. no, right. you don't want no piece of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> Quiet now. Yeah. Coming out to Topeka. Canada, with yeah, me, you yeah, know, yeah. you don't want none of that smoke. Crazy, you know? side, side note, crazy part about <laughs> Des Moines, best merch weekend I've ever had. Wow, no, okay. Yeah, Des Moines, yeah. yeah. But to go back, I get it, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I want to hang out in New Mexico with yeah. you. Yeah. Right. You know? <laughs> certain place, certain parts of Utah, you yeah. be like, oh, right. like man, mm-hmm. this is stupid. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it is funny though they fade out on them cities. Yeah, right. oh, that's, that's, Even those spouses that want to travel with you, they come to the hot spots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you in Spokane, Washington. Mm-hmm. Right. You just stay here. Yeah. Yeah. You got some stuff going on. You got yeah. stuff going on. Now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, that's that's what sucks though, because it's like you know I know for a fact if you was a nurse or like a physician or and you gone. They just be like, oh, they at work. Oh, okay. But yeah. when it's us, they be like, you sacrificing. When we yeah. mit, when we miss money, this. we don't get to get that back. Which once we leave, you know, we what don't mean? get PTO. Right. Yeah. We don't get paid time yeah. off. And mine right. is an hours thing. Cause you know, my, my wife's a nurse. So those are 12 hour days at, oh, the, yeah. at off the jump. If she works three to four days a week, those three to four days that she's working, if the kids going to school in the morning, she leave before they go to school. When she come home, it's eight o'clock. Mm. They, and you know, they, it's dinner, and they about to go to bed. She get a good hour and a half, two hours with them before it's time for everybody to go to sleep. So those three, four days, that adds up to about six hours, maybe that whole week that she unsaw anybody. Right. right. So it's like that gets looked at better. Than me being gone for the you know in the club Friday, music Saturday, plan. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like yo, I'm, I was in these drunk streets people, all day. Living Jay, your you life. was good. <laughs> living your life, jet <laughs> set. <laughs> Even that part, I the did. flight delays. Yeah, yeah. Don't get the flight delays, man. Yeah. I had to connect and do all that. A red eye flight. It's like, man, how many red eye flights I took so I could be home for a little right. while longer and just be you know get there. To a new city at nine in the morning, mm-hmm. groggy as hell. Right. Hotel start room ain't day. ready. Yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> Man, you gotta lobby go to, till three. You yeah. gotta float around. Yeah. That'd be the worst. This is the Sitting float there. around. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the mall and at, at, at a brunch spot with my with luggage, luggage in the car. <laughs> <Yep>. Yeah. <laughs> Chilling. We, yeah. we had to float in Detroit for so goddamn long. We were just floating through the city like homeless. <laughs> right. It ain't ready yet. Y'all gonna call when it's ready, right? Yeah, yeah, we gonna call. Oh, okay. Then you got three hours to get ready before Man. it's time to get to your show. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, what was her original question? Something. Mm-hmm. I went off on the tangent. No, I mean yeah. it's fair. <laughs> I think I think she said something, something that we about look changing or apologizing. I my mine are so young that all the mistakes I make, I apologize in real time. Like it's happening. Like, oh, happening yeah. now. Yeah, so like, yeah. and I just, uh, we well, talked to my dad about this, like how my dad never explained anything. He just did stuff and we'd be like, what's wrong with you, bro? Like, yeah. why? Mm-hmm. So I'm very, very conscious of like, when I talk to them, like, does that make sense? Like, why? Explaining it. Yeah, and even mm-hmm. even if I even if I realized my actions at the time wasn't correct, like immediately after, I'd be like, I shouldn't have reacted this way. Daddy was upset, but, you know, we're good. I just want you to know that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I make sure, like, we good and... Let's go get some ice cream. You know right. what I mean? I, I so they so that memory turns into a learning lesson versus like I remember that time Dad got mad at us. And right. Like, well, right. Yeah. You, you do you remember after we went to a movie like we and I was just explaining something that but I'm really good at apologizing to them in real time because you know like you said I remember you said it a couple of weeks ago us to them like I'm the biggest person on the planet mm-hmm. to them you know what I mean mm-hmm. like I remember my dad coming to my school in first grade just to drop something off. And the kid's perception of him was like, your dad had to duck when he came through the door. He was the biggest dude. Superhero, and, yeah. And like, but well, kids your dad looking is up. Big. But looking, mm-hmm. kids looking up, this you just like, wow. So like I when, even when I try to talk to him, I took this off a of coach. And like when I try I try to kneel on one knee to meet them at eye level versus uh-huh. towering over them. So it's not as, you know, 
Like I'm not mad. I'm just I want to talk to you. Right. Like it's right. not. Come if I'm down telling, to the level. If I'm, yeah. if, I'm over, if I'm over the top of them, then I'm like, even if I'm just stern, I'm not yelling. That's yeah. scary, you know. Mm -hmm. So I try to get down. Like this is what I mean. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like why right. this is this? So I try to do that. Um, there's been two times where I didn't apologize because I felt like it was necessary, and the and the action did change. So I was like, I've been talking to you. Right. So, hey, bruh. And then it never happened again. So mm -hmm. I was like, well. So Cotty was even like, and I go to her to like, was I doing too yeah. much? You know what I mean? She was like, no, that was that was right on mm. because he ain't did it since. And I was yeah. like, all right, well then. Less I didn't feel, to be taught. Yeah. yeah, I didn't feel bad about that one because she backed me up. But yeah. if she's like, you know, hey, I'd be like, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did my best uh, conversations like that. I did the best heavy conversations in the car with the boys while I'm in the front, they in the back. The rear view mirror, look up, <laughs> yeah. the eye contact. Because it, it's like, you know, we're all sitting kind of in the same level, close proximity, but it's just like in a calm environment. So those kind of talks would happen a lot in the car. Taking them to school, picking them up from school, you know, uh, hitting them with lessons and, and tips or whatever. And, you know, that was always like the the open up. Especially for, you know, Sincere's always been more closed off than Serene. And so, you know, because I, I would just ask hard-hitting questions. And then, or if I had to come down on them for anything, I would be like, you know, you know, I just said that because, and then this is why. Always giving the explanation as to why yeah, rather than just sure. saying it. And so uh, but I always found that the car rides was the best, the best place for the open up. Shoot, we used to sit in the car, park. And mm -hmm. just had the music playing and just talking out in front of uh, the house. So the car was like the spot. Mm. Yeah. For mm -hmm. the heart to hearts. Yeah. I'm really conscious of it just because, especially with Kendrick, because he's always like, I ask him a question. I'm like, I want you to tell me you're not going to like this. And I'm like, that's fine. He, he just, say that? <laughs> he says it every time. Because <laughs> like, he knows what he did. Mm. So he'd be like, you're not going to like this. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, okay. So when he says that, I come even more down because I want him to be comfortable telling me stuff. Right. Because Keelan kind of would just be like, I did this or whatever. Yeah. And Kendrick is like, he's so scared of getting in trouble. And I'm like, bro, mm -hmm. relax. You're not going to be happy. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> that's fine. Mm. Here's, just, what, here's what I get, though, on the other side, because the, the tag on that, because I do the exact same thing but with y'all. I'm in the car. Mm. I'm, you know... Cause I got boys, so it's like yeah. you know, it's like I, I'm not trying to snatch your confidence out. Right, you. that's the biggest thing. It's like as a man, you right. gotta be able to have your swag still a little bit. Right, and moms go hard. You know, so mom is the you, give it to bip, the do, you know, and she, so she gets that, and I back off and let her do her thing, and yeah. back, you know, I don't, I don't jump in while she's on them. You right. know what I'm saying? It's like I don't want them to feel like there ain't nothing else left. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? And then, I, then I go, then it's the pull, then I pull them off to the car. Then it's the, you know, then it's a hey, look, you know why your mom was, you yeah, know, on right, your on your right, head like right, that? Right. But on the other side of that, what I get from her is. You don't back me up. And I was like, oh no, I got him. Yeah. But I, I just didn't do that in front of everybody. That ain't right. something for right. everybody yeah, to yeah, see. Yeah. Right. So I go through that a whole lot with it, with my my situation. But it's like, yo, I'm I'm on they ass, yeah. you know. But I'm doing it in a different way. Yeah. I don't have to yell. Like we yeah. we men, right. we just talked about having to lower our yep. our thing to get uh -huh. to them. So right. it's like, you know, it means just as much for me to, you know, when my pop just tapped me on the arm, and be like, come on. Yeah, 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 right, right. You know, right, right. right. <laughs> it's like, God, all right, yeah, all right yeah, you know, yeah. I ain't you got a rock, right, right. right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Come yeah. on, man. Like, I remember that. Shit. Yeah. I remember that. Come on, bro. Now, I, I don't want to have to. Yeah. I don't want to have to. I'd be like, all right, bro. Yeah, don't right, make right. me do it the this. other way, yeah. man. Right. Come on, fam. Who right, you got to go that way? And, then, and he would throw my mom on the bus too, and then I got to hear her mouth. Exactly. So you just like, help me out, my nigga. And I'd be like, yeah, all right, bro. All right, all right. I got you. Yeah, I got you. You're right. You're right. Come on, man. What the hell is this? All right. I got to get out of here. Yeah, Speaking we of which, uh, this weekend, actually, I'm home for once. But then, um, let's see. September 21st through the 24th, I am in Minnesota, Twin Cities, at the Mall of America at uh, House of Comedy. Don't you know. Get your tickets for that. Um, and then the 29th through the October 1st, I'm at Nate Jackson Super Funny Comedy Club in Tacoma. And then uh, October 5th through the 8th, uh, Dallas, Plano, Texas, uh, House of Comedy. 
And then uh, October 14th, the weekend after that, I'm coming back home to Antioch, uh, doing one show, one night. You get your tickets for that. And then the weekend after that, <laughs> House of Comedy in Edmonton, Edmonton, Canada. So you guys get your tickets that I got coming up, keonpoli.com on everything. For those of you who came out to Phoenix, um, the places up San Diego, the places I've been going, y'all been coming out. I really, really appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right. At Craig DC, Wayne's yeah. on everything. Uh, September 16th, which is this Saturday, mm-hmm. Bow Rivage Theater, Biloxi, Mississippi. Ooh. And then that Sunday. It's one of them cities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they want to you, know, you, you go ahead. And, <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and uh, have a good time. Out. We'll see you. Majestic. <laughs> <laughs> Biloxi. On Sunday, <laughs> Majestic Theater, Dallas, Texas, with, uh, with Marlon. Marlon Wayans. Yeah. Gregory. I already said that. Craig Wayne's on everything. Oh. <laughs> Jay? Uh, tonight, I will be in uh, Las Vegas at the Luna Lounge. Hey. Uh, then the September the 30th, I will be at the Ice House, uh, hopefully getting together, starting the room down there, uh, mm-hmm. trying to get a, trying to get a weekly situation, but I'll be uh, hosting uh, sept- you know, September 30th live band. Really dope. Oh, nice. uh, outside of that, come holler at me to, at Jay Phillips Live on the YouTube channel right now. I got uh, comedians versus athletes doing uh, fantasy football. Oh, so dope. Um, you know, I got a comedian calling in. Uh, last week was Dwayne Starks from the Baltimore Ravens going up against Finesse Mitchell. Uh, Finesse Mitchell took him out, so it was one nothing. Oh, uh, comedians! Yeah, right they, now. they be sleeping on comedians. Sleeping a lot of comedians them. have been athletes and did all that, and then decided to just <laughs> slang jokes. But Absolutely, I know everything. Yeah, yeah. So that's what that's what I'm on right now. So if you see the page, and then uh, mind of the quiet dude, all that good stuff, man. So come come through and uh, check in with your boy. That's a dope concept. What you got cracking, Tony? Uh, this weekend I got nothing. Thank God. Uh, I got nothing until uh, Tony Baker and Friends. If you're in the LA area, Tony Baker and Friends is September 25th at Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank. Um, so that's all I got going. Um, check out Verbal Cardio. New episodes drop every Wednesday. Uh, make sure you check out my fall schedule um, for the remainder of the year. I got Austin, Pittsburgh. San Francisco, Tacoma, Orlando, and Tampa uh, to round out the year. So if you are in any of those cities, get your tickets early. Um, I'll be pulling up. And then I'm not touring next year, so you know, don't think I'm going to be coming around if you miss me this time. I'm taking some time off. So get your tickets. Um, other than that, uh, Appreciate y'all in Chatsworth, man. Great questions. We appreciate y'all as always. Thank you for pulling up and hanging with us. And uh, we out. Peace.